Greetings everybody, and welcome back to the campaign adventure in Sanctuary. Hope you all had a good holiday season, Christmas, whatever you want to call it, um, and a new year to follow. Um, however, uh, the players are eager to get back into the game, so I'm not going to waste too much time. Um, Welcome back. We are starting session 45 today, so uh, we've not played for a couple of weeks, obviously, due to um, nothing out of the ordinary for the uh, schedule timing as such, um, and the Christmas and the New Year fit nicely in between our time off. Uh, but we will be just setting a new schedule uh, for playing at the end of this month so we will be skipping to or t t sorry changing to um playing every fortnight it'll still be on the sunday still be at the same time um and i should still be able to upload them roughly around the same times as well uh but it gives a lot of uh shall we say stability um for people who are playing and makes it a lot easier for us all to get in every two weeks. If we know we haven't played last week, we know we're playing next week, and so on. So, as you know, I like to do session notes uh, at the start of every session to bring us back up to speed as to what happened in the previous session. Um, not a huge amount happened, uh, I will be honest, uh, but the progress, if you want to call it that, is definitely um, much higher now. Uh, the players seem to have a lot more focus as to where they want to go and what they want to do. And as a result, uh, we are starting to chip away at quite a bit of the um, the content for this uh, act. Uh, bear in mind, this is only Act 1 of 5. So with that in mind, let's skip now to the session notes. I um, want to welcome Ophi and Baxter and Riker today. We don't have Zerin and we don't have Scarlet. Um, some sort of clash came up last minute and uh, they had to drop out, which is, you know, it happens. It's a shame that they can't be with us for the very first game of the year. Uh, but they will be with us the, the next week and hopefully continuing on from there on every two weeks. So to the session recap. So we rejoined our brave few inside of the rogue monastery last session, uh, having battled their way through the outer cloister. Uh, they now face off against a small group of corrupted rogue sisters. Uh, and since we played last session, the party have opted to be forever known as Ophi's bodyguards. The battle commences almost instantly uh, and doesn't last long either. The bodyguards being more than capable of dealing with a handful of enemies dispatch the rogues quickly and efficiently. After the battle, some provided healing is needed by a few of the party, yet nothing is too severe. Scarlet opts instead, however, to go ahead and find the entrance to the main building. Uh, and she does just that. Wasting no time, she slams open the doors with a mighty kick, revealing to her the dark, empty and eerie foyer area of the rogue barracks. One by one, the party funnel into the room and survey their surroundings. Several barrels line the walls here, and are seemingly scattered throughout this large open room at random also. Baxter, now curious to know what's inside of these barrels, decides to investigate a few, uh, but with no visible external notes or markings on the outsides um, to help him identify the barrels, he's left unable to ascertain if they hold anything inside them or not, so he leaves them be. Meanwhile, sounds of muffled screams of pain and anguish and an odd chattering sound could be heard echoing throughout the otherwise silent building. The sounds were clearly coming from much further in but the words only made sense to anyone from the burning hells. As this was a form of demonic speech, which was unheard of by the party at this point. However, some more words 
were also heard. These were soothing and encouraging, seemingly from out of nowhere yet again. They entered the minds of the adventurers, filling them with hope and a sense of renewed vigour. They felt more powerful than they had ever done before. After the moment passed, Scarlet began looking about the room. She sees an unopened door to try, uh, leading towards the north exit. And wasting no time again, of course, she heads towards it and opens it up, only to find on the other side of the doorway a small group of devilkin, led by a couple of their shamans. In an instant, Scarlet trains her crossbows and fires her shots, taking out a good handful of them in close succession. The shaman quickly try to revive any of the fallen soldiers, uh, but Scarlet isn't allowing them to succeed at all, and kills another of the devil kin the moment he stands up again. The rest of the party head into the room uh, and cut down their foes with powerful hits, deadly shots and destructive spells. After the battle though, the party spread out a little. Ophi uses one of her keys and opens up a chest off to the side of the room. Uh, claims a good handful of various potions from it, then heads through the door to the north and finds herself in one of the rogue dorms, where she manages to find a scroll of identify hidden inside a dusty folklore tome, which was left just on the almost empty bookshelves. Meanwhile, Baxter and Riker head in the western direction from the room and find another door which leads to a smaller but occupied dorm. Uh, they find two Devilkin soldiers waiting for them inside the room, blood covering the walls and beds in there, but no dead bodies. Quickly, they both finish off the stragglers and search the room, but there's nothing there of use at this moment, and so they leave to join the others again. Ophi and Zarin start to investigate the large room, uh, which holds a makeshift well within one corner. Uh, while Scarlet moves towards the eastern door, which leads into yet another dorm-like area, where she follows a bloody footprint path to a group of Death Clan goat demons, which lingered around the corner from her. They gave chase as Scarlet decided to retreat after being spotted by them. Scarlet flees back to the rest of the party uh, as fast as possible, but she's bringing, uh, sorry, being followed by the three now angry goat men. Uh, the sound of their breathing as their pace quickens could be heard, as well as their footsteps as the enemies closed in on Scarlet's position. Cleverly, she warns the party, um, and they have enough time to get ready for the fight that is coming. The battle inev inevitably starts, and Scarlet deals some good damage, uh, but Zrin falls to the sharp axe blades wielded by the demons. Ophi retaliate, retaliates and blasts them with raw, powerful, cold magic, which tears the goats apart with little to no trouble. She also creates a warmth globe, which pulses out healing out to Zrin, which manages to heal him enough to stabilize him. The battle comes to a halt soon after that, and needless to say, the fight goes in the favor of the party yet again. Moving on swiftly, the party head through the room with the now dead goatmen, Ophi moves to where they sprung the attack on Scarlet in the first place and finds a few gold pieces scattered in a small table near the beds. Meanwhile, Scarlet heads towards the uh, passageway and scouts it out, which has yet more groups of enemies waiting to ambush the party further down, which is where we pick up this session. So, shall we say, let's roll some initiative. Let's get the turn order up and get everybody onto the right page. And let's unmute them. There we go. Right, so everyone is back and ready to go at it. Um, we should be in the barracks section. I don't mind where I point my camera because it's been recorded and I know what everyone's like. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
so music maestro is it not working oh it's got none uh Beating up the microphone. Oh. I'm not beating up the microphone, it's me touching my mouth, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm trying to find out where we are on the screen. Uh, let's see. Ah, I think I found us. Hey. Oh, well, now I've just paid again. Uh, you are here, Ophi. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> Radio. Um, we're gonna get rid of that one and that one. Oh, I see. All right, okay, so I need to add Baxter in. I don't even think I'm looking at the right. Um, Not a problem. Place. That's what I thought as well. Uh, yeah. I've not done my initiative yet. Uh, no, you have not. Yeesh. Well. Uh, Unlucky session. Yeah. This is a session where we all die horribly. No, of course not. Have a bit of faith, guys. The backstory works kicked in. If I die immediately, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, oh, I'm going to have to get... Yeah, um, shall we just stick um, Scarlet and Zerin in bed for a rest? Because we've got some beds in view. Uh, yes, I am going to do that, actually, because uh, Zerin is suffering at the moment from a point of exhaustion. It's not going to help him, because the amount of time that's going to pass is not going to be enough. Uh, but, yeah, they can, by all means, they can chill out in this room next door to us. Um and they can join us as and when they can. Uh, which does leave the rest of us a little bit more vulnerable, but it should be okay. Um, and obviously, if you run into any bigger monsters, um, under, other than the, uh, the basics, um, I will adjust those accordingly based on how many players we've got. Uh, right. So, what do we have here? One, two, three. Uh, black robes. We'll put that all up there. Um, I also need uh, Aurora. Yep. Um, and she needs to roll her initiative as well, so I'll do that now. Uh, nine, twelve. Uh, I think at the moment Aurora's going to be going first based on her dexterity bonus. She's got plus three, right? She's got plus one. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. Um, What's she doing for arrows? Is she okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there's only three, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll them individually. Not that one, that one, and that one. That's a good roll. 
Okay, uh, so the turn order is as follows. Uh, we're going to have two of the Black Rogues uh, a little bit faster, a little bit warier as to who's coming through the hallways, uh, waiting to ambush you all. Um, so they are going to be moving first, and then we go on to Aurora, who's going to take her turn, and so on and so forth. Riker, Baxter, last Rogue, and then Ophi. Lovely. Um, as ever, I'll leave the turn order up so you can see it anyway. Okay, great. So to kick off then, it's the very first one taking point as well. So she screams as she withdraws her blade from the scabbard, brings her shield out in front of her, and dashes towards Riker. One, two, three, four, five, six... Um, she's going to stop there uh, she's pushed herself to get to that point um, so that's going to be her action to do so uh, so there's no <coughs> attack this turn from her um, the second one oh. is going to push as well uh, they know who you are just by like you, you've got kind of a reputation now uh, this party in general um, the information is being spread about you uh, throughout the area, um, and obviously you are you are getting quite a, a bit of a hell's bounty, shall we say? Um, so they know who they're looking for. Uh, that one's it's not her turn, so we move on to Aurora, who, at the sight of this going on, is going to attempt to move back. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Um, she's instantly sight blocked, so I'm going to give her a stealth roll. That's not her. That's her. Uh, we'll move that over a bit. Stealth. There we go. Oh, great. So as she heads around this corner, you just hear her trip over this corner of the broken crate. Um she catches herself before hitting the ground fully so she's not hurt or anything like that but she's completely given away her position there's no chance that she's hidden so you, you hear her for a moment just say ah oh, shit and then she pokes her head, head around this section and fires towards this one here right in front of you Riker um, training her arrow onto it uh uh, just do a normal arrow for now. I said normal arrow. There we go. Thank you. Come on, roll better than. Okay, never mind then. So, already... yeah, this is not good so far. So, the arrow just slams into the shield of the uh, the rogue who stood in front of you, prepared and uh, battle ready. Um, sadly, doing nothing other than just shattering on her shield and doing nothing. Uh, as for her turn, that's all she's going to do. Uh, Riker, you are up. Uh, firstly, I don't think I'm in the right room. I'm pretty sure I'm in the room before the room we're currently in. I'm just staring at the door currently with everybody else. No, you're, you're in the room where everyone else is fighting. That, that is you, uh, yeah, there. I think there's just another me that I'm seeing. Another you? No, I don't see another you. Then roll 20 must be missing up because I'm still in the other room. I'll refresh the page. But I'm still in the room before this one. Alright. Oh, oh, no, I don't... The only people that are in that room now are the three dead goatmen, um, Scarlet and also Zrin. I'm just hoping that the refresh will work. It was weird because everything else was working, it just wasn't showing me the right room. Yeah, normally a page refresh normally fixes that. Oh, yeah. 
and I just need to zoom in. Yep. Oh, finally, now I can see. I just had to guess everything that was happening. Oh, right, okay. Um, so it's making no sense to you what was going on. You're like, what? Well, well, I don't see all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just get randomly that. get attacked. Okay, I guess this is what happens now. Okay, um, um, does that make sense to you now? What What's happened and where everyone is? Are you seeing everything? It? Everything's seeing clear. It? Remember. Everything is clear. Fantastic. All right. Uh, all right. Let's clear as see. Uh, holy fire at rank two. I have no other. I have no reason to do more than that. I'll just go with rank two for now. All right. Nice. Uh, so I'll just be twelve. Uh, there it is. Yep. Um. Uh, I think. Can't remember if we do that. No, we're not doing that yet. We will be, but not yet. Within circle for now. <clears throat> uh, what is it? Fifteen. So five, uh, yeah. Ten, fifteen. Uh, it's not big enough. One sec. Uh, yep. Five, ten, fifteen. Yep, yeah, that's good. And then I'll roll the damage. 3d6. Fantastic. Alright, so that is going to be... Not the worst. Uh, yeah, they can't resist any of that, so that is 10 points of damage to these two. Okay. Nice, let's go. Um... So, their flesh is seared by your holy flames. I'm gonna step over to the left one. Just to give myself a little bit of a better position. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm gonna take the dodge action. Okay. Uh, no problem. Um, good. All right, you passing your turn? Yep, to, that's the end of my turn. To Baxter. Yeah, hopefully if I move very, very carefully, I won't have to disappear again. <laughs> um, so Baxter's there. They're all brown. Um, I love when roll twenty one to take it, son. tell you what, while that's loading, he's going to um, position himself just a little bit better because he realises that he's too far away to do anything proper. Um, so he's going to flank behind Riker to avoid getting smacked up. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to take position over here. When my character sheet's ready, I will actually do something. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. As for right now, I guess Baxter's just staring at him with loving intent, so... <laughs> you picture of what's happening. Oh, that's the wrong one. Did it break down to me as well? There we go. Now I'm going to close my rear character sheet, that's why. Sorry, guys. Not my day today. The cursed day, I'm, I'm telling you. It's just cursed. Everything's cursed today. <laughs> like, a, like a doomsayer. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> now. Because it's a bell. Late Christmas present. Oh, no. I got new dice for Christmas as well. If only they could have brought luck. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel really bad. I was like, oh yeah, there's only three of us who are rolling. That means that we'll all get more turns in. Nope. I'm taking the longest. <laughs> yeah, we'll get more turns in. I'm <coughs> dying. Oh, maybe I will. I think most I think most things hate me. Oh, 
I think people have a general disdain for Riker and his rickety hands. They will have advantage on Riker because you would, just, you know, it's a natural born thing. No, they have no advantage. That's the thing. That's why everyone hates me. <laughs> just like, why can't I hit this guy? He's just, he's not doing anything. Yeah. Which is too fast. Gotta be quicker <laughs> than that. Oh. There we go. Right, okay, so yeah. Baxter's repositioned himself somewhat better. Um, he's going to place both of his hands on his battle axe. And he is going to take a swing. Yep, yeah, with, uh, with advantage. With advantage, I forgot about that one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he dies for a while. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so your eleven becomes a ten because of your um exhaustion point. Yeah. Uh, but even if it was 11 it wouldn't work uh, she's far too quick and uh, agile and sees the blow incoming and dodges past it uh, do you uh, uh... anything else you want to do well, yeah with that Baxter's just going to uh... uh... Yeah, he's going to realise that his, his human form is not meant for this world, and uh, he's just going to start to change into Barry. Baxter is now a bear. Okay. And that is Baxter Finito. Right, one second. Uh, we'll move you up to there. Uh, you've got 33 life at the moment, 46 and 15 HP. So there we go, perfect. Uh, and your 11. So we'll add that to the turn. 11. Remove that one. Uh, you've still got, if you want it, you've still got another attack. Because you've got, because you're level 5, aren't you? So you've got your extra attack ability. Oh, yes. I always, like, yeah, I've just remembered that that's a thing that I can do now. Um, so you can, you can attack again with your main hand. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I think I am just going to, when I can, take a swipe. Uh, still with advantage. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are still affected by your fatigue. Uh, advantage. Right, let's let's see how well I can uh, wipe at them. Oh, nine. that's very nice roll. Uh, so that'd be a twenty-five total. Um, yeah, that's a hit. Roll your damage. You there? Oh, nice damage. So this big bear paw just comes across the body of this rogue. She tries to get her shield in the way just in time but he knocks it out towards the side and then comes back with the claws and just rakes across the arm <sighs> there we go so she's lost another 10 hit points and uh, yeah Baxter's, Baxter's just going to sit there happy with himself and that's where I'm going to end it Okay, so we move on to the final rogue. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She's going to dash at that point. 
and she's going to move to here. Um. Okay, that's good. Uh, and because of her positioning, she's going to attack you with an advantage. Uh, so the sparking blade sings through the air. Um, only just about nips you. Um, taking barely any damage whatsoever, I should imagine, from this. So it's going to be... Uh, it's, no, it's not that bad. It's four points of damage. Um, and one lightning. Uh, but I believe... Uh, yeah, as she just about glance blows hit you. Um, with her blade. You feel a little tingle as the uh, the lightning that's infused into the blade um, leaps onto you. But other than that, there's nothing to really wor worry about here. Uh, yeah, she's done everything she can... You know what? Scratch that. That can't happen. She hasn't got enough action since she used it to get into combat. Uh, so she's just going to stay there for now. Um, so keep your hit points. I'm going to hide that. So we don't see it anymore. There we go. That never happened. So we'll work on that one. Um... So after she dashes into position, she's ready to strike, but she just can't quite get the attack off this turn. Uh, Ofa, you are up. With, with uh -huh. Nyx. So start light. I'm going for Firebolt on this guy first, or Bill. Yeah. Then it's going to be Ophi first. Okay. 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. What are your damage? 11. <gasps> nice. Damn. Chunking away big hit points here. Yep, she's still alive. But she's looking pretty worse for wear. Uh, Nyx is going to follow suit on the same one. Go ahead. 21 to hit. Yep. Roll the damage. Fifteen. If she's still standing, I'll be very shocked. Mm, Nyx only does one d10 at the moment. Because she's not high enough level to do two. So she's doing nine points of damage. Oh, okay. Which is enough to actually take her out. Fair enough. So the bolt still strikes where you wanted it um, and it, she goes down uh, that was the fastest one so that was the one that was just about to go after you so she's now dead yeah when you when you level up again and Nick uh, levels up with you that's when she will get her um, her next level of fire bolt right okay Okay. So, uh, are you moving or doing anything else, Sophie? Um, I'm staying put at the moment. Okay. So, on to turn two. Then. <coughs> so, after seeing one of her sisters fall in battle, um, a rage, or now rage field. Sister lunges towards you, Baxter, um, and tries. Uh, she doesn't have any advantage anymore uh, because of the positioning, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, but she will still get her strike normally against you. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, what do we have? 40%. All right. Let's do the D100. 
That's a 66. Says it all really, doesn't it? 66. Uh, right. So her blade is now dislodged from her hand. As you whack the elbow of her as she outreaches her hand, you hit as a reflex kind of thing towards her. Um, catch her in the elbow and she just... Um, like stiff, ar stiff arms and basically drops the blade. Uh, so, let's see how far it's going to go. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's going to bounce. Um, yeah. Eight. Uh, so actually, it's going to head um, off of this box, uh, off the side of this broken crate, and it's going to bounce towards this wall over here. So it kind of hits there, bounces off, and slides to that square there where the, the blood is on the wall. Come, mm -hmm. come into a halt over there. That's not good. Um, she's going to struggle to get her blade back, that's for sure, without getting smacked, or attacked at least. Uh, as she has attacked you, um, no, he's not within range. He would have to be within range. Um, that's fine. Shut that down. Uh, what do we have here? So very frustratingly, after basically parrying her blow, um, she's now weaponless. Happy days. And instead of going after her own, she's just going to grab the dead rogue one off the floor, and that's going to be what she does for her free action. Uh, Aurora, seeing this, as she looks around as to what's going on, um, she's going to attempt to do a quick hide. Come on, give me a better stealth roll than I had last time. That's better. A 16... It's not enough. Not enough. So she steps out back into view, um, and this one here instantly catches on that she's there. Uh, you can hear Aurora's frustration as she says, Damn it! Not again! Alright, fine. Have this, you bitch. And she fires. Um, we're going to go with a cold arrow, I think, at the one that's right next to you, uh, Baxter. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh. Oof. Yeah, this is great. Uh, uh, what has she got? Uh, she's got 40%. Please, for goodness sake, just give her something at least. 43. That's a real slap in the face. Right, okay, fine. Uh, so she's going to take her own damage as it ricochets off of the barrel back towards her. Four three ouch minus six hit points and for yeah to end her turn she's literally just gonna hope that no one saw it and just be like ah! and then just kind of hide behind this wall um, <laughs> in a bit of shame uh, <laughs> Uh, let's reduce her arrow down. Damn. She can't fire next turn, so she's going to be spending her time fiddling about with her bow. Uh, Riker, you're up. <laughs> um, do your damage. Yep, I'm going to spend the 2. 3d6. Yep. 11. Nice. Oh, nice, yes. Uh, minus 11 on that one, and... On that one. Fantastic. Um, after taking the fiery damage, um, the one that's to this side of Baxter uh, is looking a little bit beaten, um, shall we say. She's a bit bloodied. Uh, but as for the other one, she's okay at the moment. That was the first amount of damage. And I step forward. The one that's dead, that doesn't take up like space, does it? 
No. All it does is it reduces your movement by another five feet. So whatever you would spend normally, you add an extra five on top. So it's like difficult terrain. Because you are okay. basically trying to fight around a, a dead body, which is a trip hazard. Would it stop me from doing no nope. nope. Doesn't stop okay. you doing anything. Um, all, it, all it does is it adds an extra five feet onto that square. Stand right there. Mm -hmm. Take the dodge action. Call it a day. Wait for one of them to do something stupid. <laughs> Probably won't be long, will it? Uh, let's be let's nope. be honest here. Uh, right. So if that's you done, um, you're passing turn to Baxter. Baxter, what are you doing? I'm a slapper. Um, slapper salute. Hope, but you never know. Uh, I'm going to take it with my right claw. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. Just give me two seconds, sorry. Oh, I did it with advantage. Do I still get advantage? Uh, well, your first roll was 21 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you well, would... Yeah, no, you wouldn't get any advantage from the positioning. Uh, that's so 11 points of damage. Is that the, That's the one that's in front of... Riker, or, um, or the one that's to the side of you? Sorry, the one that's um, in front of me and Riker. Yep. Um, so, yeah, but. Try and get the oh. token box. There she is. I just realised that uh, there was another one hidden behind me. Sorry, mate. Yeah, sorry. Right. Um, so, yeah, the one directly in front of me. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the right. Um. Slap him about, and then I'm going to go do the same thing with the left claw. Uh, the left claw is going to fail, I'm afraid. That's fine. Um, I still got my other, other attack, don't I? You do, yeah. You have a main hand, yep. Yeah, so I'm going to um, bring my arm back up for another. Mm -hmm. And that's a hit, so damage. It's an eight. Okay. And this is all on the same one. So yes. Fantastic. So with your third uh, strike, you hear something break as you dive your claws straight into her chest and rip out whatever you could while it's in there, uh, snapping tendons and bones alike, and she goes down hard. Yeah, you just see the bear's face grimace. He's happy with what he's done. Yep. Uh, and then that's me for the turn. Excellent. Uh, so she goes down and is out. Uh, last one looks a little bit panicked after that strike, or after the assault from the hulking bear that's in front of her. Um, but she's going to stand her ground um, and try to keep on fighting. Uh, so, 23 to hit you, back. So that is going to hit, isn't it? Because you've got 15 now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so you're taking 8 points of slashing and 1 point of lightning damage. Yes, sir. Works to be dust. I get to use Sentinel now. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm going to assume without advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, this one. It's the one I'm looking for, I think. Uh, what mm. do we have? A 14. 14 will miss. So she Damn. sidesteps your blow, which allows her to focus more on just thrusting the blade straight into the rib section of the uh, the big bear that's in front of her. Um, as he's kind of celebrating. Uh, that's going to be her turn. She can't do anything else. Uh, Ophi. Yes. There's a... I'm going to have to sidestep, otherwise I'm going to be uh, setting fire to a bear. <laughs> it's fine. You can curl your shots. <laughs> So I'm firebolting this one. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get a decent roll again. Uh, here we go. This is Ophi. Right, see if you hit. That's a hit. Roll your damage. 20, Twenty-two to hit. 
this can be potential 20 points. Ah, oh, okay. So, minus six. Yeah, and she's still standing. Same for next. So, I vault 19 to hit. That hits. And damage three. For another three. Okay, she's blooded. After the two scorching bolts, you can see that she's starting to breathe a little heavier. Uh, everything that she's carrying feels a little bit heavy too. Okay. Um, I'm staying put. I'm not moving any further forward because obviously I can see Aurora just around the corner. Yep. And um, she is going to attempt, as she's behind cover, to do nothing because she can't do bubble. So, okay. never mind. Uh, her turn is going to be skipped because she's repairing the only weapon that she holds unless anyone else has got a bow that she can use. Other than that, she's going to skip her turn. So back to you then, Riker, with your auto damage, if you want to keep it up. Um, you know what, let's not, because I need to save mana as much as I can. Okay, I'll take so you, it off. So you're dropping it, right? Okay. Indeed. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can see you're getting a bit low. Um, Mm. I need a lot more if I'm going to just Not explode problem. anything else that comes along. Yeah. Let's turn that in. Uh, there. there we go. Can I get any position that would give advantage? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, if you step up one, so you're just basically above, yeah, right there. Um, one of you will get it because she'll have to face against one of you. So, at the moment, she's facing Baxter. So, if you were to attack, you would get advantage. Okay. Well, Baxter will not. And I think I get two attacks this turn. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Because you level five. Yep. Uh, and I should have advantage because presumably she's facing Baxter. That's correct. All right. Again, I don't see. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, that's a swing and a miss, I'm afraid. But you get another sh another shot at it if you want to take that. Yep. That's a hit. There we go. And you do Thank extra damage God. to demons. So you do an extra four. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be... Uh, did it add the extra four? 1d4 plus 2, 4 plus 6. So, you, no, you do 10 points of damage. Very nice. So you cleave into the side of her with your lunar hand axe. Um, and you can see that there's a reaction that the axe has as its blade cuts in. You can see that there's some sort of like a, a flash of light or something that kind of se sears into the flesh. Um, something that doesn't normally happen with any other standard battle axe. Uh, uh, hand axe, sorry. Um, but yours does seem to have some sort of reaction to them which hurts quite a bit actually. Good. Very well. Um, yeah, she's not looking too good. Uh, we go on to Baxter now then. So Baxter, you are the, at the moment, um, the focus of her. That's all I need. So any attacks that you do aren't at advantage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so he's just going to go with a good old combo of the right, left, right. Uh, he's going to start with. Nice, he's going to maul her. Very nice, let's go. Yep. 13, that's going to miss. So she ducks that one. Yep, and then with the left claw, he's going to come in. 18 hits. Uh, that's 8 damage. So, I this, can't do it. so this is a, a low blow. Cuts her across the uh, abdomen. Yep. And then, and then last one. Uh, one more. Oh, unlucky. So the last one, she this is another high, trying to take like off her head in one go, kind of detapitated sort of thing. Um, and she just ducks under that one as well, uh, reeling from the first hit, uh, the second hit that you, uh, strike that you did though. So, so you still did some damage to her, which is kind of nice. Um, very good. Okay. Uh, she's pretty much at death's door at this point, which you can probably figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, but it is her turn, um, and frantically she's going to take a swing for you. 
Uh, Bring it. Helps if I get the right person. Yeah. Oh. What was that? Four. No, that's, that's nothing. An yeah, it's a nothing. So. I'm just my beard. In her devastatingly damaged and hard to focus kind of situation, um, she's unable to land a strike on you. Which is kind of makes sense, to be honest. Okay, um, right. Well, that's the end of her. I should turn. be able to have sentinel, right? Yes, you can do sentinel. Yes, you Would can. Would I be at advantage or just regular? Uh, I think we spoke about this last time. It counts as an attack, so you'd have advantage because whatever position yeah. you've got will, you know, transfer to all your attacks. <laughs> Why even try? Go yeah. put down the axe, Riker. Leave it. <laughs> Just step away from the axe. Right. Well, as you can see, nothing comes of that. She sidesteps your blade. Um, you're not sure how she's managing to be this agile still at such a weakened state, but she's managing it. Uh, Ophi, you're up. Sorry, I just realised I was on mute. Um, my firebolts are coming out again. Mm -hmm. There's no point in using my spell slots unless I need to at this point, because we don't know how big this place is. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, uh, nine to hit. That's going to fail. Less. So, Nyx. Come on, Nyx. 14 to hit. Uh, that's going to fail too. So both of these just end up burning this barrel over here, doing no real damage. Uh, okay. Strikes every time. Uh, let's see. No, I keep getting these two mixed up. Right, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna do a stealth roll. Uh, that's not gonna work. So she's going to step out with her repaired bow and fire uh, normal, weapon, uh, normal shots that's going to hit and she deals 10 points of piercing damage uh, this hits in the side of her head and you can just see that it's a through and through um, you can see the tip of her arrow pointing out the other side of her skull And a very glazed expression comes over her face, her eyes uh, just staring up at you, Baxter, as her body just begins to crumble to the floor. Good, that's what we like to see. Okay. Okay. Um, for the time being, the fight was over pretty quickly. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other hostiles in the area so I'm going to say that you guys are out of combat so we're using out of combat movement well uh, she's gone <clears throat> uh, so if you do wish to um, loot any of these we can uh, they do have on them a short, a short sword, a small shield, uh, leather armor, leather gloves, and leather boots. So they've all got those. So you can take any of those that you want. They're only bog standard. They're nothing special. They're nothing magical. They're just purely a slot filler if you've got nothing else. Oh. Um. But they also have value as well, sell value. So if you want to take them for gold, you can. Um, it's up to you, what you, whatever you want to do. And then, of course, there's if you want to go a deeper search of the area and, and the bodies, um, then we'll do the rolls. Um, Baxter's staying there, but he seems disinterested, so he's not bothering to uh, mm -hmm. bodies. Yeah, okay. I'll attempt to loot something different, just because I think it'll be funny. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Um, Ophi, do you want to take part in this search, or are you going to move on with yeah. Baxter? 
You going um, to take part? Uh, in which case, I need either a perception or an investigation roll from both of you. One is slightly better than the other one. Oh. That's a uh. failure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Uh, oh, what's the seven. Event? It's a seven, eight. So it'd be your seven. Uh, so that's also a failure. So, uh, scouring the area and the bodies that are here, nothing really jumps out at you as valuable. So, and if you do find it, it's just trash. Riker's is also partially blind. Blind his left eye. He can't see anything. <laughs> all, that, all, that oh, all those shaky hands has like done some nerve damage <laughs> optically. <laughs> <laughs> he can't find anything because he can't feel it out because his hands shake over him. He doesn't know if something's there or not. He accidentally smacked himself in the, in the face, in the eye, and now has he smacked nerve away damage. any valuables with the shaky hands accidentally, so he doesn't there know. Go. There we go. That makes sense, right? Okay. Uh, uh, so in which case, then there's nothing else that's here um, for you guys to worry about. So. I guess it's a matter of pressing onwards and see what you can find. No, there's an upward. Who wants to go first? The bear. Oh. But the bear tanks. But the bear tank. The bank. Bear tank. Mm. <laughs> oh. I see blood. Oh wait, uh Ra, Ra Ra. That's boot in. That works. <laughs> I should really cast speak with animals before I'm transforming so at least someone understands what I'm saying. But you live and you learn. Yeah, you believe that you're talking normally, um, but everyone else is just hearing bear snarls and grunts and growls mm. and that's it. That's all they're hearing, and you think, "Well, why are you not, why are you not talking to back to me? Why?" <laughs> I just feel What's really. That, Somebody fell in the well. <laughs> 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 right. Just make up what he's saying at this point. Oh, which play, oh wow, that's crazy! <laughs> yeah, crazy but, story. You can clearly tell Bax is getting more and more peeved off because he's trying to express something important, and you're just like, "What's that, boy? Yeah. Someone fell in the." <laughs> You can just see his facial expression just like turning a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit angry. <laughs> oh, look, we've got another blood trail. Yeah, you have indeed. Oh, I don't know what Bax's response is going to be to that. Seeing as he's the first one to point it out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Aussie, but you can see four digits go down and I'll leave the rest for you to imagine. Not paying attention. <laughs> Aurora's going to come running up behind Ophi. Because she's... I thought you Aurora comes running. Says, oh, look, a blood trail. Can we look into this wardrobe or anything? Yeah, you can, yeah. Now, uh, is there a lock on it? Uh, no. no. No, there is not. It is just a standard uh, cupboard uh, with a couple of drawers underneath. Um, and what you can see is uh, there was once food that was stored inside here. Uh, as you open it up, you can see that there's extra shelving inside. Um, but the food has since turned bad and you wouldn't want to eat it. Or you might do, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what you want to do, but it is pretty disgusting. You can smell it. It's like, no, no. Okay. Um, but the drawers are basically filled with um, kind of like kitchen cutlery and that sort of thing. So there's nothing nothing of value. It's not like higher grade silver or anything like that. Uh, it's just bare bones, bog standard cutlery. Yep. Bare bones? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that back, so don't look. <laughs> 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 I was out crashing the joint. Okay, let's see here. 
it's it's too comedic. Mm. Intimidating but comedic. Right, um somehow a bear is going to convey that he sees a set of stairs. Just point yeah. <laughs> <Just pointing. laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. Uh so Baxter begins to point uh in the in the direction you can see the direction he's pointing so he's pointing this way and uh, all you're hearing is just muffled bear noises that you think he's trying to tell you something i guess but in general not quite sure is he able to do like charade style actions <laughs> yeah um, he's very <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh quite possibly yeah um, but I don't think his intelligence will allow him to do that as a human, let alone, <laughs> let alone as a bear. It's like, a good job you're not in the same room as us, you probably end up with that. <laughs> Come on, let me roll a performance check, see if I can get this. All right. I see it happen. <laughs> Go on, then. Right. right. As a bear, I'm going to... I got a 14. Hey, not bad. That should have been a 7. Not bad women uh. well your performance um, if you want to call it that is uh, definitely on point uh, you are literally directing the party's eyes to the steps that you can see in in the distance but uh, I mean they can see them themselves so it's kind of a, a pointless endeavor really but at least you know that you're being understood at this point to a to a an extent at least. Okay, are we heading to the stairs or are we checking over what's this this side first? Michael uses terrible eyesight to go take a tiny look and just see what's happening in that neck of the woods. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't know why, I just would be funny for Riker to do the charades bit for saying there's a corridor. <laughs> um, now, Riker will just say there's another way to go over here that leads some way. Can't see down it just yet, but it's another direction. Slightly closer. Well, vision time feels. Which way are we going? Coin flip. Coin flip. Right. You got a choice? Yep. We've still got something to find for, for. Is it Chelsea or Kara? We've got to find the hammer for uh, it. Yeah, Chelsea wants the, uh, the Heragic Malice. That's the one. So uh, it's probably worth having a, a quick look around everywhere to mm -hmm. avoid missing it. Oh. Uh, or we should probably check on this floor first and then go down. Yeah, I think so. So I might as well head over here. I will scream like a little girl if there's trouble. Let's pan. Camera, where am I looking? Um. Oh no. Uh uh. You may be about to regret this decision. Boss fight time. Boss fight time. I, d I don't know if it's that, but... Well, I can see it's fast. I should be screaming like a little girl. Well, there's only blood, guts and viscera. There's nothing we've not seen before. Like <laughs> a point even behind a box just staring at us. Um... As soon as you step further up, Ophi, uh, from out of the gloom up towards this box and uh, from that direction, uh, you hear a female voice and the scraping of a blade um, as it is drawn from a scabbard and you hear her scream at you uh, and it sounds like it's getting louder um, and you hear the words you you will die first and uh, from out of the shadows 
comes towards you a few more of these lovely scanty clad sisters so everyone initiatives please just pat banks her on the sand and goes sick em, boy get him go on beach boys bear growl sure it's super enthusiastic. Wow. Great roll. Great roll. These are not the worst. No. Oh. Yeah. New year, new initiative order. Will the curse session turn around? Not after I've said that. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's like saying quiet at work and, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so at the moment all three are focusing on you, Ophi, um, but I need to do their initiatives, so bear with me. Uh, no bad sorry. joke, no bad joke. Max is there with you right now? That's crazy. There we go. Get that bear out of there. Uh, right, so she's going to go first. Um, she's going to come speeding around this corner. Blade drawn, and she's going to lunge as soon as she gets next to you. Um, she's not close enough for you to get your sentinel off, um, Riker. You just got to watch this, sadly, and just think, shit, I can't do anything. As just stand there with my hands on my hips. Yeah. As she lunges. Ooh. That's a big roll. Um, what's your AC? 10. So she's going to add her proficiency to the damage. I'm sorry, Ophi. Uh, so you're going to take 7. Oh, it's a low roll for damage. So 7 points of slashing damage and 1 point of lightning damage as this blade just pierces into your body. Ouch! Um, it's a wince. Ooh. That's all she can do. So it's now your turn, Ophi, <coughs> to react to that attack. Oh, uh, okay, Scorching Ray then. <laughs> um, Sorry, I was going to look at it and then it kind of went for it, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're sick. Uh, the only problem is, is that you'll be doing that at disadvantage. Yeah, I realise that. <laughs> so if you can roll another natural 20, then you are laughing. If not, then it's wasted. That one, that one. I was about to say it. <laughs> uh, so that's a 19, so that still hits, believe it or not. Um, so you need to do another... Uh, another two rolls at disadvantage because it's a three strike spell. So just press that. Yep. So just same. yeah. So just uh, roll it another two times at, at disadvantage. Wow. Nice. Nice. Wow. I've never seen that happen before. So uh, you manage to strike three times. At very very close distance, I'm guessing it's the one that's literally just jumped you. <laughs> yeah. Um. In which case, roll for me three lots of damage. Let's see what happens. Six. Sixteen. Jeez. Okay. Twenty-three. Uh, has she got her comeuppance? Yeah, big time. Um, you just shredded her life. Um, she's now bloodied instantly. Uh, you took a, a little bit of damage, but nothing too severe. Her, on the other hand, you just blasted the shit out of her. Um, you've also got Nyx as well, waiting to exact revenge, I suppose. So, what do you Is want? she at disadvantage as well? No, or? no, no. There's enough. Ga uh, there's enough of a gap between them. Um, so she's fine. <laughs> That's a hit. 21 to hit. 
13 damage. Same, no, same one. It can't be 13, so it has to be 4. Oh, uh, so, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. She's not looking too good after that assault of fire just coming her way. So she gets peppered with the three strands of fire that come out from your Scorching Ray and kind of like a twisting motion um, as they wrap around her and just burn into her and then the blast comes from the fire bolt uh, which is directly straight towards one of her shoulders and you see her body just jolt back after taking the blast. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good going consider <laughs> considering she sprung the attack on you. Uh, ba um, Baxter. Uh, before we go, I'm going to cast Warmth. Right, okay. Um, obviously, I've taken some damage, so... Yeah, for sure. Uh, where do you, do you want to put it? Uh, uh, about there. Alright, I'm trying to fathom out the uh, thingy, so... That's about the right distance from me, so... Yeah, just, yeah. just pick one of these squares that are next to you. So, yeah. Yeah, is that good? Mm -hmm. Or do you want it the one behind? <laughs> That's good because we're going to be progressing forwards a little yeah. bit. So. so, there? You happy with that? <coughs> That way it was, yeah, there. Okay, fantastic. So that's going to cover all those squares that you can see it's covering now. Um, I will add that to the... Oh, it's right there. Fantastic. Uh, so that will have 10. Actually, let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. Warmth. Minus 1. Add... And done. Fabulous. <coughs> okay, okay. Is it healing now or is it healing on next yep. turn? Yeah, no, the first one, the first turn that it comes out, it heals. So because it goes it goes after you've kind of gone in, in some way. Um, mm -hmm. So it will heal you and it will heal Riker and also Nyx if she needs it. Uh, not quite Baxter and not obviously Aurora she's far too far away thank you that's me done okay great uh, let's see Warmth. I think I skipped Baxter Baxter you're up Right, brilliant. Um, Bax is just going to brought forward. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yep. He's going to just go up to the lovely little nice thing. Yep. And yeah, he, he's just going to start laying haymakers. Um, okay. So three times. That's a mess. Going with his left hand. Even worse. And then back again right round the corner. That's a hit. Yes. Um Nine. Nine points. Yeah. Yeah. She screams out as you rake across the arm uh, that holds the shield just at the top close to where the shoulder muscle is. Ooh. Um and then back is just gonna jump back one. Uh, just so we can get inside of the wall. There it is. You jumping back one? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was confident in my AC to save me. Oh, you didn't need it. <laughs> you intimidate enough. And she yeah. manages to hold on to the blade, so she swings and misses, but instead of uh, the blade being knocked from her hand, she manages to hold on to it. Um, it does instead swing all the way around and takes a chunk out of this, but... And for a moment, you've got the old comical view of her where she's swung so hard it's indented into the barrel, and now she's, like, struggling to get it out. 
Uh, but she does eventually rip it free, um, but that takes all of her um, all of her actions to attack you. So, okay, very well done, um, Riker. You're up. All right, I'm gonna step one. Uh, I pass through warmth. Yeah, you can pass through warmth. Yeah. Um. I want to step here. And oh, then... sorry, no, you can't it, because it takes up the same square. No, sorry, I, I thought you meant can you go like through the area? Yes, you can, but you can't go through the square that it's on. <clears throat> I just want to get to right behind the one in front of Ophi. Yep, so you can pass by like that if you wish. That'll only take like 10 feet. You can go through back, sir. That's five. And then you can go here if you want to. Okay. Be, yeah, that's 10 feet movement. Then I will... I'll do Holy Fire at first, first level. Okay. There we go. At first level? Um, yeah. So it's like only 2d6, is it? Uh, 2d... Yeah, it's 6, isn't it? Is it 6 to use? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure for a second there. Let's okay. roll that. Six. So she's going to suffer six not, points not the worst. fire damage. No, not bad. Not bad for her first level. And she'll suffer six as well. There we go. She's still alive. I need to... Yep. I'm going to swing on them. Okay. Like behind them, which yep. I assume would give me advantage. That's correct. All right. Because her focus is Ophi at this point. And now the ones that were trying to get to Ophi cannot do so. Cheers. 16. Uh, 16 is going to be a glancing blow. So we're going to half whatever damage you deal to him. So you do 8. So we're going to take 4 points of damage. Uh, yeah, she's not looking good. Um, after that slash that you made right down the back um, and also the extra damage obviously coming from the uh, reaction that the blade has when it touches these filthy demonic creatures um, however she is still just barely standing oh, let's do it again yeah okay no. Oh, you're terrible. No, that one's going to miss. That's, that's a terrible set of numbers as well, though. That's awful. Ooh. Yeah. We'll pretend it's 911, which is who I'll need to call in the next five minutes when I get stabbed. <laughs> From behind. Twice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I got oh, my spine. Oh, no. Yes, because it's collapsing. their turn next as well. Uh, so. Oh, God. Uh, moving into position will be the first one that's next to you. Um, she's going to move here. There we go. And she's going to strike uh, with her lightning blade. Uh, that's a 16. That just about meets it, which means it beats it. So you're going to take some damage. Uh, we've got five and one lightning. Okay. Uh, and the next one is going to move up, do the same thing. Yeah, so you're getting bloody stabbed in the back, literally. Eight and one. So nine points that time. Uh, let me just check, because I think you need to check for your aura. An ambulance, please. Uh, let me just check oh. your skill. Does your skill say it requires concentration? Uh, I believe it does. I think it's the so, thing you made it do. So, that would be... Yeah. That would be... Uh, I need two tens from you, please. In, uh, con saves. All right, bye bye, holy fire. Yeah, nope. Literally, 
That is awful. Two sixes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the first time that you got struck, uh, you lose the concentration instantly on your. Uh, so the second one isn't really necessary. <clears throat> but hey ho. Okay. So the first one is enough to knock you out of your concentration um, on your aura and it goes down. Uh, the second one moves in, seeing this, and strikes as well. They're going to stay where they are. Uh, Aurora is seeing all of this going on. Um, she realizes there's nowhere really for her to hide. So she's just going to load, aim, and fire. She's going to go, she's got a, a choice of which one, so she's going to go for the one that's closest to you, Baxter. Um, we'll just go for a standard shot. There we go. That's nice. Uh, six points. So you just see the arrow thunk straight into her. Um, uh, let's see. That's a rural turn. She's not going to do anything else. She can't get anywhere where she can get stealth, so there's not much point in bothering. Uh, so move on to turn two with the black rogue that's attacking you, Ophi. She's going to continue to attack you. Uh, that's a 17. And you are going to suffer seven points of slashing and one point of lightning. As the uh, crackling energy just discharges from the blade into your skin. I'll use so that's eight again. So that's another eight, yeah, eight points of damage, yeah. Uh, now it's your turn, Ophi. You guys are really... Can I sentinel that? Duking it out. Uh, yes, you can, because it's a new round. So you can do, if you wish. Uh, I'm going to use Nick right. first on this one. Right. Wait, wait a sec, wait a sec, because it's going to be uh, an attack coming on your behalf from uh, Riker. So he's going to try and uh, attack her as she's attacked you. Okay. Uh, that's a 20. Um, you would get advantage for this. Oh. So you can roll again, see if you get a, an... Okay, so two 20s. That's fine. Two rolls are the same. That's absolutely fine. Uh, okay. So um, we'll take, we're taking the first damage that you've done though, okay? Um, so it's going to be four points. So you do eight points of damage. Yep. And just like that, you just see this. You just see this axe swinging down hard, just cleaving into her shoulder. And you can see that as he pulls the axe apart, there's like a, a flash of light that burns into the the neck area. And you can just see like she's kind of leaning to one side with just her neck and her shoulder separated, with a big gash down it. And then she just crumples in front of you, Ophi. And you can see as she crumples, you've got the bloody blade of the axe um, in the hand of Riker, um, breathing heavily as he watches the body just hit the deck. Um, clearly worried about you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what do you want to do, Effie? Because now whatever you cast is not at disadvantage. Um, so I'll be going first and I'm aiming for this one. Yep, already damaged one. Good idea. You can see she's damaged. She's got an arrow sticking out of her. Oh, uh, need to back to Firebolt. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Here we go. Roll me a d20, Ophi. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ten. Okay, and roll your damage that you would normally do for your spell, please. So you're going to take uh, three points of fire damage. Does uh, you reduce any more fire damage? I think you do. Yeah, I half it. Yeah, so you half it again to two. Uh, yeah, so two. Um, so you'll only take two points of fire damage, but you'll take it out of your mana points instead of your hit points. Um, 
and that spell is now off the board until you uh, your next turn. See so, so okay. ne next turn you won't be able to use Firebolt, basically. Um, but on top of that, we've got the fun part. You've already, already rolled a 10. Yeah. Okay. Your hands instantly feel cold and go numb. Anything that you hold, you drop instantly. Uh, you try to bend over and pick up what you've dropped and you just cannot do it. You haven't got any feeling in your hands whatsoever. Uh, this will also last you... No, nope, wrong dice. Helps for, click on the right dice. Uh, helps for two turns. So the next two turns you are unable to hold anything. This includes taking potions, uh, passing anything, picking up anything. You cannot use your hands to hold absolutely anything for the next two turns. So anything you've got I in your hand it. just goes straight away. It's on the floor. And uh, no fireball next turn. And no, right. and no fireball. Okay. Ooh. So, Nix's turn. Uh, yeah, Nix's turn. She's aiming for the same one with fireball. Uh, 22 to hit. That's fantastic. Roll damage. 15, which is what? Uh, 8. <coughs> oh, minus 8. Yeah, so the firebolt releases from Nyx, uh, curls around Riker and slams straight into pretty much where the arrow hit um, from Aurora, uh, which makes things just a lot worse. Awesome. So that's me done, and then it's warmth, isn't it? So. Yep, so your warmth will kick in okay. um, and heal everybody for... What rank is it? Two? It's... Two. Two, so it's three, so three it's hit three points. Three hit points back, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. I maybe won't need the ambulance. I don't know. My spine is demolished. <laughs> It'll be crawling yeah. to the exit. Seething. Alright. So, warmth does it thing. Baxter, you're up. So, um, I am able to reach the one that's just behind my that one there. Uh, you can reach both from where you are. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the one that I pointed out. Um, obviously, my cute little combo. So, that's a hit. I'd assume. Uh, what have we got? Twenty-two. That's going to strike. Yep. So that's eight. Uh, uh, is this the one that's closest to you? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, that's right. Yep, so she takes a big hit from that. Um, as for the 14, that's going to miss. So it's your offhand. And then back to your main hand. Back to the main hand for another 20. Uh, yeah, that hits. And um, that deals 12, so 20 damage overall. Alright, you, lit you literally take a head off with that one swing. <laughs> Play-Doh putty. Yeah. Literally, there's just blood just gushing out of where her head used to be. And it, 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 it kind of like bogs into the shield of this one over here. And it just drops. And she looks at it and she just screams. And then uh, she looks up at you and she just can't believe that there is this huge bear that she's having to fight uh, just roaming the halls of this you know once uh, nice and calmly hall um, but hey I mean if you invade somewhere and they try and take it back you can't really complain can you exactly back to the shore I will break you Um, turn done. Fantastic. Alright, Riker, you're up. Alright. Gonna turn around, face it down, look it dead in the eyes, say, you wanna dance? <laughs> Let's dance. I take the dodge action. <laughs> That's it, I'm not risking it. I'm in so much pain. Oh, my, my back. <laughs> Holy I fuck. thought we were going somewhere else with that, but okay. Nope. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> so your, 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 your dodge action, it. your dodge action is only one action. You can still attack even if you take a do dodge action because you've got an extra attack. Oh, okay. So I always took it as the attack action being both of the attacks and no, the dodge action being... No, 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 being no, no. No, because that, that, um, that cheaps you, really. Because that's taking away that's your fair. actions for no reason. So you can well, you, can, you could use your attack, your action, to go with an attack, um, and then use your extra attack to... Um, or say that you've attacked with your extra attack, but then use your action to do your dodge action. That, that's absolutely okay. fine to do that. Damn, I don't even have any spell slots left. I was going to smite if I could, but never mind. I won't do it. I'll leave it. I think they call Just it. Dodge. I think they call it hit and hide. If that makes sense. So you strike, uh, and then you take a defensive action. Kind of like, well then. kind of like when um, you got the guys that are doing the shield walls and the spears and so on, and they do the stab, and then the shield goes up. And then mm. they step forward and they stab again, and the shield goes up. So it's kind of like that sort of thing. That's what you're doing. You're, you're striking, you're stepping back, you're defending, you're you're waiting and anticipating the attack that's coming back towards you. So that's how that works. Okay. And if anyone says anything um, different, I don't care. That's how I want it to work in my game. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do the extra attack, mm -hmm. and then take the dodge action. Yep. Ooh. That's a good hit. That's a fantastic hit. Right, so what we'll be eight here. Uh, yep, so uh, yeah. she's now wounded a little bit. Okay, so she's taking the first point of damage. Points, yeah. points of damage, I should say. And now, mm -hmm. I will dance on the spot in hopes of avoiding another hit. Appeasing her so she won't hit me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, right, so we get rid of that one. It hurts. Get rid of that one. Yeah, when you said to her, come on then, do you want to dance? She kind of looks at you uh, with a, kind of like a, a smoldering style of look, like she's trying to impress you. And it turns from that into some sort of like maniacal, you know, I'm a crazy fucker just staring at you. And she takes the blade that she's holding in her hand and she just licks the blood off of it with her snake-like tongue um and she goes yes let's dance oh how i've waited you know what i never mind i take it all back <laughs> and she kind of takes like a a, a semi-step backwards as if to look like she's gonna t like back up a bit um puts the weight on her back leg and then thrusts the blade forward towards you. Uh, so she's got disadvantage on the strike. But let's see whether we can... Well, it wouldn't matter because either way that is not beating your 16. So as, Sorry, she, as she lunges you kind of move to the side slightly and you can just see the blade just shining through the air as it comes to between um where you're holding your weapon and your body so that gap that's in between it that's where the blade tip goes and it just hits nothing and she tries to drag it to the side to try and get like a cheeky uh side swipe or side slice on you but you just push her arm away slightly um and she's unable to do anything about it uh so the black road does absolutely jack for this turn but she's obviously you've obviously got her attention um, as for Aurora, we play. Aurora hanging out back, um, she's going to, no, there's no way she can hide, everything's too broken, so it's not going to offer any, uh, any, uh, line breaks in sight, so she's just going to attack, um, she's going to load up a cold arrow, I think, and she's going to aim it directly down the line, and miss completely. So you just see this cold arrow zip straight past all of you and land in what remains of this broken b crate over here. Um, and that's going to be her turn. Ophi, you're up. 
right, okay. Um, so this is the one that's um, left. Mm -hmm. uh, it's we have to be firebolt. Um, oh, I can't use firebolt, can I? Oh, oh. Not, not this turn. No, no, no. Stand around and watch. I'm gonna use Ray Frost instead then. Okay. Fitting. It's a ten. Uh, uh, turn to hit's gonna miss, is isn't it? Going to miss, yeah. And then Nyx, can you still use five up? Uh, come on, Nyx. Nineteen to hit. That does hit. Eight. And then that's an 11, so... Uh, 9. Yep, we'll take the 9, that's fine. Okay, so she gets blasted by Nix's firebolt. Uh, is that all you're doing, Ophi? Yes. Okay. I can't touch anything. I can't ping anything. So. Mm -hmm. So the warmth is going to kick in. Uh, so it heals Riker back to all of you for three points. Let's go. Uh, back to the Europe. Stay winning. Baxter's nowhere. You said I can reach her from here, didn't you? Easily. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, you know, ex. <laughs> And hook right into her face. Nice. Or I mean, if you want to move up a square, um, then you can get advantage on the attack. No. Um. Makes sense. Makes sense to do it, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Can I still take <coughs> that, or is it either or? Well, roll, roll again to see if you get a nat twenty. If you get a nat twenty, obviously, then we're doing big damage. Oh, um, absolutely. Oh, very close. Very close very indeed. Nice. Uh, but we'll take the first one that, we, that you do. Uh, so we'll take the 11 points of slashing damage. And yep. you tear into her. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's, he's going to hook round under into the ribs, cracking a few of those. Uh, he's going to left hand to go. Uh, a 16 will hit, but it's only going to be a glancing blow. So roll your damage yep. and we'll half what you, what you take. What you roll. Uh, it's four. Okay, yeah. So um, so yeah, that's fairly scratched outside of her skin, and he's going to go once again, cutting right up from stomach to chin. Uh, Missing. 15. She sees the last attack incoming. She knows that you like to try and maul things in sets of threes. Um, she knows the next blow is coming, and she just ducks as quick as she can away from you and behind a shield in all you hear is just your claws scraping across the outside of the wooden shield. Um. Yeah, that's me done then. That's you done. Okay. Are you keeping an eye on how on your duration for your bear? Yes, I've got um, one last turn with it, and then I'm re-upping my mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. All right. Um. Don't forget, it works like an upkeep now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Because yeah. it, it's it's cheaper that way, but, you know. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I, I know that I need to take it's, it's my... Like, it's a lot better than having to come and pay the full lot again. Yeah, absolutely. All right, then. So we move on to Riker, who has just witnessed you laying into uh, this rogue and dealing a ton of pain to her. Um, what do you want to do, Riker? Uh, how injured are they looking? They're looking very injured, right? Very, yeah, near death. Okay, Let, let's fight them on equal terms. You know, let's say a little bit of respect. Um, fight them on equal terms. I won't dodge. I'll just try and smack them. All right. So you get a couple of strikes. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's I believe points of slashing. 
Uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be three points uh, plus your four. So we're looking at mm -hmm. what seven. Yep. Uh, she's barely standing at this point. You could probably blow on her, and she would fall over. So what do you want to do? Right. What do you want to do? Out of respect, not the one last one. I hon I honestly thought you were going to get shield basher. Yeah. <laughs> Just wham! Oh yeah, you're dead. Uh, that is going to glance, but because of her weakened state, the amount of damage that you do is actually enough. Um, and because obviously the extra damage that she takes from the, uh, uh, the the lunar side of your axe, she goes down. You can see that the the hole that's now in her chest, which your axe made there you can see that it's slightly glowing um the same glow that your axe has so it's almost like it, you can see that the energy has transferred from the axe into her uh but it's still on your axe it, you ain't got to worry about that but it, it's it's kind of like a, a strange almost like a white flashy kind of uh, chromatic not chromatic uh monochromatic um, i've made a nice looking thing. axe holder yeah <laughs> You sure did. So anyway, she goes down. Leave it. She goes down. Um, there's no one else here. Uh, so for the time being, you guys are out of combat. Well, um, the obvious out of the way. Thing up, and I'm also going to restore my tokens. Bax does not perform today. You tired? Um, my not a problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, grab as much healing from the ticks as you can possibly do. Um, I'm going to bring Aurora in to get some of that good healing juice as well. Uh, so she's going to get plus six. No, sorry. Yeah, plus six. <clears throat> Not to anyone, but Bax is currently sat at 51 health, so another one, and I think Tankster might be. Yeah. Might be the yep. Yeah. Uh, sounds good to me. Um, right, so we don't need that anymore, so we don't need to look at that. So Mr. DM, what is the upkeep for my mana? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Uh, for your bear form? Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, skip oh, it's druid. Thing that Why is it? It is... Five. Thought it was, yeah. That's brutal. So you pay half the cost. Yeah. Uh, but then it's only, you know, what, 20 for your second rank or 40 for your next rank. So five yeah. instead of 35 extra or five instead of 15 extra. So, yeah, it it does uh, it does pay dividends to, uh, to your mana pool, which is nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can now yeah. stay the bear for the next 80 turns. Yeah. So. It didn't feel right the way that it was before, so I hope you like it better now because I do. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Okay. Um, so, we will skip to the point where everyone is healed up and happy. Mm -hmm. And the warmth globe cracks and disappears. Ophi darts into the wall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to have a second move. <clears throat> Alright, so show Cannon investigating. Yep. Okay, so there's a lot obviously here that you can go through. Um, we'll do this whole area as a, as a one whole search. So make the searches good. Yes, you can also help search uh, Baxter. I don't know how you would do it, but it is potentially possible that you can look around. So. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count you out of of being a a member who is able to search. Yeah, fair enough. Um, well, if everyone else wants to, I'm happy to. But if not, let's crack some doors and some skulls. Uh, I've got a key. Yes, you uh, have. Wonderful. No worries. Uh, right. So inside is uh, Act One presets. Me and mana potion. What are we on, barracks? 
Ah, yes. Inside Ophi, um, you can see that there is a... It's quite a large... Look at a good uh, six foot or so, or just slightly less um, length to the box. And inside the box is a... Um, like a like a bedding um so whatever they want whatever's in there uh they wanted to be kind of looked after and as you look to see what is there you can see a long handle with a spear tip at the end um and you can see that the the glow to the whole thing is like a, a yellowish glow <laughs> so Description aside, basically, you've got a rare magic spear in the box. Okay. Anything else in there? Nope, that is it. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Go on. If it's not a task. Can't please some people. <laughs> and some potions, please. Okay, that's noted. Well. So that is in the, that is in the chest. Um, as for everything else. You've got your basic stuff that you can take off their bodies, like like you did have with the others, or you can do the full on search and search the area as well. See what you can find. I want to do an area search. Okay. If I look for it. Okay, I'll join you in that. I'll do it as well. Perception. I'll hide all the stuff we need when I shake my oh. hands through. Oh wait, what? Am I, about? I was like, oh, no, a twenty-three, but it was within. I realise it's my roll. Hey! Uh, 23 is a pass. Uh, 19 is a pass. And also, 19 is a pass. So we've got three passes right now. Um, hey. There's a lot of stuff that you guys have just found. So, this is how three passes work, because I don't think you've had that just yet. Uh, so, what you do is, you, one of you, or all of you, or whoever wants to do it, um, you get... Uh, for three successful checks, uh, as many bodies as there are on the floor. So you gain one, two, three checks. Uh, so uh, you get three rolls of the loot. Uh, and on top of that, uh, you've got one. You're searching that area well. You've got that one over there and that one. So that's five. So you've actually got five bodies in the area. Um, I'll give you this one as well, so you can have six. So you can have six uh, loot rolls. So basically, uh, you would be searching, if I give you an idea, uh, here. from here all the way to here. So th this area, this general area, is where you're searching. Okay. Okay, I've got the shared notepad out. If I, if you guys want to roll, yeah. If you, uh, whoever wants to do the rolls, that's fine. The Doesn't yes. matter. Well, who's luckier? It's hard to say today. I don't, know I don't think it can be me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only good at not rolling. <laughs> you guys Just give everybody else. You know how fortune. to do your rolls, don't you? How um, do you? you click on your token. Yeah, and then you press loot search. Loot search at the top, that's right. I'm going to say my PC is just... Uh, i got an antidote. Um, am I doing all six, or am I just doing my two, and then you two are doing your two? You're welcome to do my two. Six. Yeah, right. So that's one. Leather gloves, two. Just just do all of them first. Wow, nice. Getting some good finds. Shit, an egg. Five. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we need to see if any of those are magical. Uh, so do four of the loot rarities for me. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so the ring... Uh, no, sorry. The quilted armour. The quilted armour is magical. The rest are just standard fare. Well... Okay. Okay. Uh, now you've got to decide what out of all that you want to pick up. And then reduce your inventory by how much you want to pick up. And then we'll I move think on. they're all helpful. 
I mean, definitely the ring mail is, is worth a bit, so it's always worth taking mm. something like that. Uh, leather gloves, not so much. The quilted armor, definitely, because it's magical. Um, and the ring. Uh, sorry, um, you didn't need to roll for the ring. That was me. I, I'm being dumb. The ring is at minimum a magical item anyway. Uh, okay, so quilted armor is also magical, yeah? Yeah. So you got so you got the magic ring. You got quilted armor, magical. Ring mail is standard. Leather gloves is standard. You've got the antidote and the thieves tools. Cool. Um, Not a bad find. <clears throat> no, we don't actually have any thieves tools in our kit, so I'll take the thieves tools. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the only I thing I think about leaving behind is the leather gloves, but we can't uh, really take those. Beat me to it. Uh, what did you need to know? Did you ask something, Rack, or...? Oh, uh, no, I was just saying it's a good idea to take the thieves tools. Oh, yeah, just don't absolutely. give it to me. Well, anyone can use them. It just allows you the opportunity to um, pick a lock. Maybe my shaking hands would be good at picking locks. <laughs> they might work, you never know. Maybe the vibrations <laughs> might just dislodge the lock a little bit. Hey, who knows? Uh, but yes, um, that's the gear that you found. Uh, okay. Made a, Ophi, you made a note of that? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, I can see a door up here. Mm -hmm. Shall we check the rest of the corridors first? Because we've got to come back this way anyway, for the stairs. Um, yeah. There is nothing down either of the corridors. I mean, raw, raw, pointing vigorously. Rasputin? Stop. Yeah. That's not the time. Aurora runs up to oh, Ophi and places a hand on her shoulder. On your shoulder, sorry. Um, and she says quietly, you can tell that she's deliberately dropped her voice. Um, she, she says, be careful. Um, I'm picking up something. I'm sensing something here. And it feels pretty powerful. Mm. Can you not feel the heat? Yeah. And just as you as you walk, kind of like to this section here, you can feel that there's an immense amount of heat coming from this direction. Uh, it feels like as if you walked into a warm room that's got the radiator turned on like really high up. Hmm. So it's kind of like that dry horrible um lingering heat feeling uh you on the other hand are most likely going to be oh that's okay i'm used to this uh but you do obviously know that there's been a massive change in the temperature feeling the heat difference as i walk in towards this way and obviously yeah i mean if anything, my experience if anything, yeah. is tells me that um a change in heat in a tower, uh, a building that's been cold so far is not necessarily a good thing where demons are concerned. So I, I pause and um, I thank Aurora for slowing me down and um, I call the other two over and kind of wait for them to catch up. I'm not shouting, I'm kind of waving my arms. need to pay a bit more attention to this direction. Um, Bax is just going to look for any discernible note of if you actually want to go that way or if you're just warning us. No, I'm kind of waving my arms as in like a calm motion. Yeah, Bax, mission. Bax is going to go And I'm putting my finger to my mouth as if to say quietly. Not sure if a bear's capable of quiet. I was going to say, how, no, how quiet is quiet? Not a thump, 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 heard of elephants kind of run across the room, but a, you know, a gentle roll. <laughs> yeah, he, he can do teddy bear rolls. I mean, they are named after it. Right, um... Bax is just going to post up around here and let everyone else scout because obviously he's very, very, like, noticeable. Uh, 
Do you want to go this way? Do you want to do this right now? I mean, we've got a wooden door behind us. We've got that corridor, <laughs> that stairs. Mm. It seems like something where maybe we would want a little bit of backup. Yeah, with the two. Oh wait, uh, rah rah snoozers, rah rah. <laughs> that that's right, boy. You're right. That's definitely it. That's what I was saying. Rah. Um. Mhm. Mm I also don't have a lot of mana to really uh make things easier with. I would say we should probably go the other ways first, and then come back this way if we have time to do it. Okay. If not, I would just say we maybe wait or help. Sorry, Mr. Head. Yeah. Bye. Uh, is um, probably be useful. Back to the points at the wooden door behind us and like gestures to quietly check it out to see if it's the other end of what this hallway is or if it's something completely different. Because we may be able to get the drop on them, but something telling us to go this way. Okay. On the other end of the hallway could be something completely different. Yeah, exactly. We don't know until we find out. Okay, so could could Aurora do a stealth check on this door? I like Fallout Four. Was it? Was, to it do was it? You're asking door. it to do? Um, could Aurora do a sneaky check through this door? Uh, through this door here. Yeah. Uh, she can try. Yeah. Um. Uh, we get you. Uh, okay. I'll give you the bad news now. The moment she opens this door, you're going to be thrown into combat. Uh, fair enough. That is not enough to get through without being noticed. Alright, okay. Um, so, we will get ready with that uh, momentarily. One second. Uh, I do wonder what would have happened if I rolled still. Well, can I say, can I position myself closer to the door, or are we doing an initiative we, from here? We will go straight in. Okay. Um, oh boy! <laughs> that one. Ooh. It's blended. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, so as the door opens. Um, <clears throat> uh, you instantly hear the uh, demonic screams um, of the devil kin as they take notice of Aurora straight away. Um, she steps in to look around thinking that she's absolutely fine. But they've already well ahead of her taking notice of what's going on. Uh, so uh, we are looking at that one. Um, did I do initiative for her? No, I didn't. I'll do that quickly. Not bad. Uh, she needs to go. Yes, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so, um, oddly enough, 
Riker is the first one to be reacting to the uh, the screams Hello, that are incoming. Guys. So yeah, um, ready and willing. Energy. Uh, let's see how far I get. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 30 I could just about stand in the doorway I don't even think I can see anything yet Nope Um I will just take the dodge action Preemptively I can't see a thing I just know there's something there So I'll just take the dodge action In preparation Yeah, fair enough Maybe hold an action Or if anything actually approaches out of the door Okay, so is that all you can do for the minute, Riker? Uh, yep, yeah, because I moment. don't have the map to spend on another holy fire. And I also can't move any further. Without putting myself in danger. Alright, Ophi, you're up then. Oh, the Joyce Firebolt. Go ahead. So, this is the one I can see the most from where I'm stood. The wall seems to be in the way for the other one. Mm -hmm. So, 27! Fantastic. Roll your damage. Incredible. So, Ophi. Yes? You would be doing... Let's see here. 20. Yeah, sorry, ten, plus 10's in there already. Uh, so you will be doing 25 points of fire damage. Yep. And, and I, I'll tell you how much you've actually done. Okay. A whopping zero fire damage. These guys are the ones that are... These are the ones that resist the fire. They are immune to it. Oh. Bam. In a sneaking suspicion. I looked at the name and thought, that's different from what we were just fighting. Truly a sad day. Yeah. You just see that as you as you launch your fireball and it strikes him straight in the head, and you can see that there's just a huge blast of fire energy that just explodes around him, and he just seems to shrug it off and walk through. That makes me uh, Nix. Well, it makes Nix useless as well because Nix is fireball and Scorch you may, and they're both fire. She can stand around, look pretty, cheer from the sides. Just have her hang back a bit then. Yeah. She can chillax. I don't even have to worry. I'm going to move Nyx. I like Nyx. This is going to have to sit this one out. Uh, yeah. uh, just just resting. Move. Yeah, meditating. Yeah, I'm going to move Nyx to one side so she doesn't become a target. Um, I'm going to stay put because I can use uh, Frost Ray and stuff, but... Um, that's all I can do. I'll just move Nyx to one side. She's um, disengaged. Right, yep. So that's me done. Okay. You can back up too. That's a shame because that was a good shot. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit, that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, trouble is. They're immune. Is that they're immune? Damn. Okay, who's up next? Devil kit. Okay. Um. Oh, let's. Uh, 
have a look which one is going to be there okay so he's going to come charging down past push past his other one in front of him um and come charging towards where aurora is uh and take a swing at her as she tries to back away oh shit Okay, um, she's going to take four points of slashing damage. Uh, nothing too major, just like a little nick. Uh, but other than that, um, you can't do anything else, so gonna wait. Uh, Aurora is gonna use her bonus action to disengage. Turn around and fire. Uh, an arrow straight towards that one that she can see. Um, she's going to use a cold arrow. And nothing hits. So the hit slightly putting her off her aim. Um, she's going to move a bit further away. Uh, Baxter, you're up. It is me. Um... Honestly, I think I'm going to be moving, so... Right, that's... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, if I were to use dash, is that an action? Or I shall crush you! I shall... Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm going to go... If I were to use dash, would that be an action or a bonus action, just so I know where to allocate my uh, attack? For your class, that's an action. That's fine by me, because I still have my other main action and then my bonus action. So yeah, I'm uh, going to dash for an extra, what, half movement? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can, you can easily get up to him. Yeah, so that's five, ten, and then I'm going to place myself in front of everyone else mm -hmm. and block the door Baxter's you know they might not get hurt by fire in the sort but a good right hook can definitely put them on their backsides yeah 22 to hit yeah easily gonna strike and um, that's a 13 uh, so we'll add an extra 2 on top of that and that kills him bang in so you maul straight downwards, straight across the head and the face, and you just see the skull just split open. Um, yeah, there's there's no point in me. I can't really get to any of the others. So yeah, you've got I, more movement. You still got more movement. Oh, do I? Yeah. I was just say because I've got my point of exhaustion. I thought I uh, only had twenty five, so half the twenty five would be ten and fifteen. Well, so I took you've the got. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you've got your point of exhaustion. Uh, so your movement as a as a bear is what thirty? Thirty feet as a bear. And you used all of that, and then you've used. Oh, so it would be down to twenty five, wouldn't it? Yeah, I was going to say I've used twenty five. So foot you movement. can move. You can move fifty in total. Oh, can I? That's bro. Um Right. Well, that's only ten. So that's instead of the normal 15. sixty. Uh. 20? Yeah, that's where it puts me there or thereabouts. Now I'm definitely blocking off the doorway. Yep, don't forget you're walking on a or body, so that counts as a yeah. 10 foot square. Yeah. Um, is that from my next movement or is that is this movement? No, that's, it is. that's his current movement. Okay, yeah. Um, that's me sorted then. I can't do much more or go anywhere else. You can't go further in. That's fine. That, that's not a problem. Uh, so... Which one is the dead one? He's there. Okay, good. There's no shaman, so he's not coming and come back. So I might as well remove him from the list itself. Uh, next up is the devilkin that's right in front of you. And very fanatically, he charges at you after watching you just one shot one of his, uh, his comrades over there. Uh, but he's still going to go for you. Nope. Nothing. So you just backhand him basically away. Um, the warmth. Is that? Oh, I didn't remove it. Uh, and then 
the last one is going to come down here, but he can't seem to find a way through. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give him the chance to climb over the beds instead. So he's going to do one, two, three acrobatic rolls. This is going to be bad. I'm going to laugh if he just passes two and then fails the last one and smacks his head. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Um... Uh, so we've got a two. Alright. We'll do three then. Uh, we'll do one, do twenty. That's two. Makes the first one. Just about makes the second one. And makes the third one. So somehow he manages to nimbly, probably because he's small size, he's like only basically the size of a small child, um, leaps from one bed to the next to the next, and from there he can land on this section and try and hit you. Go for it. Um, should be an advantage. That's a 14. That's not going to hit. He came close, but not close enough. So he swings, and obviously, you just push this one away. Like, you're just knocking them about left and right. It, it, they're, they're nothing to you. Uh, so, turn counter two. Riker, you're up. You can, right, you can see what you're dealing with. You can definitely see what you're dealing with. Um, I'll stand right next to Baxter. Take the dodge action. And... Clip him. Clip the one right in front of me around the head. Uh, you're unable to stand there. It is yeah. literally a, bottle, a, a bottleneck. You're going to have to stay where you are. Um, which means oh. you are out of range. It's literally just straight, like, one, uh, like a five foot gap that you can get through, and that is it. Um, so, you big. Uh, might as well just walk away then. Bear's got this. I'm gonna yeah. walk the other way. I'm just gonna go walk. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <Just gonna. laughs> he's blocking the the, the, the thing basically. So range will work, but anything else, no, you can't get up close because he's now blocking the entire ex uh, entrance. I'll go stand over here. I think that's my full movement. Okay. Go keep a roll and um. <sighs> Very well. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to Ovi. Okay, okay, so... What are you doing, eh? Fire is no good, so I'm going to use Rare Frost. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. There's the Nat 20 again. Ah. 15 and 11 to hit. And I'm going to get it. I forgot to say which one I was going for. This one, which is the one I can see best because Matt yeah. Bass is in front of the other one. Well, the 15 is enough to wipe him out anyway. So he's out of existence at this point. Um, oh, it's a freeze, isn't it? So it's going to... Uh, it's going to become a statue. You've done it again. There you go. He's literally frozen on the spot. Fantastic. Uh, the other one, however, is dead. He's thawed out by now. Uh, but you've made a new ice statue for, to play with. Um, uh, only It's a single target, isn't it? So it's not going to hit the other one. Okay. No, it's single it. target only. What do you want to do for the rest of your turn? Uh, no, what I can do, so... Um, I'm going to challenge Baxter to shatter him. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can. I mean, he's not coming back to life from that, though. 
Uh, oh no, but I want to see, I want to see it, uh, it's probably bad of me, but I want to see it shatter into tiny pieces. Very well. Um, <laughs> Baxter. Um, yeah, ba Baxter heard Ophi say shatter him. Um, he knows that there's still one more left, so he's going to mainly focus on the last standing one before he entertains the idea. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No problem. So, right hook... Oh, very nice hit. Yeah. Oh, the right hook can knock him straight into. Oh, you almost one shot one. at him again. Actually, your proficiency should be three now, right? Uh, because of your level. I was going to say, have I not changed my proficiency? Yeah, my proficiency is three. It, it'll automatically do it for your attack roll. Yeah, it's plus three. So, you actually deal 15 points of damage then, um, which executes him. Another, another one, another one shot. So the last one you did actually done sixteen points, and this one done fifteen points. So um, yes, if you want to play around, uh, by all means do. Um, any attacks that you do will have advantage. Yep. Well, Baxter's going to uh, turn around, cast a big teethy bear smile at Ophi, um, and just punch straight forward to shatter. Do I have to... Is it just a regular attack roll, or do I have to do, like, a strength roll because it's punching ice? No, just a normal attack. Bang in. When it wants to work... But... Right, let's see how hard I hit this thing. 16 points. Mm, what did you roll? An 11. An 11? 11 actually misses. Well, it doesn't. It glances. So all you've done is managed to uh, cut into the ice sculpture, oh. but not actually do enough damage to shatter it. You'd have to get a full-on hit. So you got a choice. You can either leave it or go for another one. Uh, Baxter hangs his head in shame. He's he's one shot two of them. He's he's not going to make himself look like a fool. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, right, so you took a big chunk out of the side of him, but obviously it's a statue now, uh, so the rest of it remains standing. Uh, it's a bit of a weak hit um, on your part, although the damage is pretty impressive, um, even so. Uh, but don't forget that's going to be halved down to about seven. Yeah. Um, and 11 is not going to be adding your proficiency damage to it. So no, that's, that's how much you're going to deal. Uh, which is still like Half-Life for them. Um, but yeah, it's still a decent enough hit, but it doesn't shatter. Shame. Um, yeah, that's Baxter done then. He's, he's killed two. Very well. Chipped one. Happy okay. days. Uh, everything is dead. Uh, so we are going to be out of combat. Bring it. Check out the bookcase and the little side table. Okay, Ophi. Bax is going to uh, leave the room so people can explore it because he's too big to let pass by. Yeah, he's a big boy, isn't he? Uh, so, paste that one to there. Um, Ophi, there is nothing on the book stand. However, there is a rolled up piece of paper inside the drawer on the um on the bedside table over here on the nightstand um and as you unfurl it you can see that it's got the uh, the markings and an exact identical copy of a town portal <laughs> i assume you want that oh definitely okay it's yours Always worth checking in the uh, little places like that. And then on the way back, I'm going to inspect this little guy. Now I will kill you! And uh, admire my handiwork at the ice. Just because I can. I'm fascinated by ice, even though it doesn't agree with me. 
Um, because obviously it's the opposite of my fire. It's still in, I find it intriguing because Hold on. fire burns away, but ice it just kind of stagnates everything, and it's I don't know, it's it it's a point of fascination for Ophi. Okay, so yes. we've got Gosh, this Lord. part of the hallway to do. Mm-hmm. See what's getting off down there. Oh, and this is anything. Not like a dead end. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a dead end. Mm. There's only the stairs and the room where there's apparently something very bad. And there's the sauna and the stairs. Which one do we want to uh, take up? Okay. Could have a, an investigate down. Oh, no. make... Is it down the stairs? Or is it up the stairs? Yeah. Downstairs. Let's make our way. Um, have we already grabbed the chest that was in here? Yes. That's fine. Are you guys Did heading you... down the stairs or are you heading towards the hotter room? We're yeah. downstairs. We're doing the stairs, we're going to investigate the stairs. Okay. And then, um, before the end of the session, we'll make our way back down to where Zren and Scarlet are. Oh, still got a long time yet. you still got an hour oh, ahead. Yeah. It could happen. Yeah, anything can happen. I hope not. And it often does. Riker, you could understand better all oh, downstairs. I can't see anything. A trip. Hmm. Trips full rolled. Twenty devilkin just stood ready with the blades. <laughs> just stood at the bottom. I was like, oh. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> it's all right. I know what would happen. Twenty devilkin, Riker. I take defensive action. Are you fire? Oh no. <clears throat> Nothing works. The fire boy. I dodge. I'll double dodge. Okay. Triple dodge. So you head down the stairs then. Ooh. Okay. Um, as you head further down, or start to head further down, uh, you notice that the area that you are passing into um, is a lot more damp and kind of not looked after the servicing is not as much like the walls are not cleaned as much as what they are over here um obviously you've got to ignore the blood spatter and the viscera that's everywhere but in general um it kind of gets left behind or as far as the importance of cleaning that area shall we say um you step down and there are bits of like um moss and mildew growing um, on the walls uh, the steps are starting to become a little bit more slippery as you walk down so you've got to take a little bit more care uh, but as you approach the end of the stairs uh, let's see where you are um, you can see that there are I mean just looking around there seems to be uh, some sort of area that is watched or was watched um, and this was the guard that was watching um, now cut to pieces on the floor uh, there are several areas that have bars instead of walls and looking through the bars you can see uh, lots of cell-like rooms um, which have filthy looking beds in them they have chains in them they have barrels in some of them uh, trays and cups that have just been left there um, there's all kinds of muck and filth on the walls and on the floors 
Uh, you generally get the feeling that this is not a, a very nice place uh, to to be. Um, and you are standing in some sort of prison or jail. Mm. Uh, but you can clearly see that there has been an incursion of the demons that have come through this way as well uh, because this is the connecting direction that you would have to go to get into the heart of the monastery. So you have to pass through this area um, to get to the next or the inner sanctum of it. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty grim down here. Seems like a perfect holiday location. <laughs> yeah, if you're a frog. <laughs> I'm going to just walk by my small <laughs> frog room to sleep in. Um, Let's just... So what do you I want mean, to do? Do you want to explore a bit, or do you want to head back up? We'll, we'll take a little walk. Let's just heat. Okay. Where's Aurora? Has she followed us? Uh, I need to put her on. One sec. I uh, know, I had a weird vision of Scarlet here, though. This is so strange. This place made me hallucinate. What the Baxter's fuck is that? Is he a bear, or is he no longer a bear? Baxter is still a bear, it was just... Uh, yes, you are still a bear at the moment. Um, what, what, I what I will do is... Uh, I didn't expect you to be a bear yet. That's uh, When you came down, that's why. I'll copy uh. that. That's fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just do a quick copy paste. Uh, you should be able to come straight in with all the hit points that you had. Yes, sir. Woo! I'm going to say 51 hit points and 41 uh, mana. I remember my. Yeah. Is are these flames or are these just torches? Um. Right. Uh, I need you to bear with me one second uh, because there's uh -huh. something that I need to do. Um, I need to click on the map. Uh, what did I say? Range, 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 range. Uh huh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Riker! Go no. back to there. Because as you stepped onto that square and was like, ooh, what the hell's that over there? You find out exactly what is over there. Um, it is a dragon-looking statue, uh, kind of like a, uh, a serpent-y style with wings. Um, and its eyes and its body are glowing, but its eyes begin to glow a little bit brighter than everything else. And in the mouth, you can see um, that there is... A latch that has opened and from it has shot three firebolts and they're all coming your direction uh, let's see in my head I was thinking I get shot as soon as you said my name it just if you have any reactions able... that can reduce damage do it now uh, uh, I can stand there with my mouth open what about your shield? I mean, I, I don't know if that would work in this. So this counts as a trap. Um, and not a... Uh, it, uh, it can be attacked. Uh, but it does count as a trap. Um, so it doesn't... So it basically uh, just strikes you. Um, you get a chance to reduce the damage you're going to take the damage whether you like it or not but you gets it gives you a chance to reduce it by whatever you've got if you've got any reactions um if you don't then sadly you're going to take the full brunt of whatever i, I roll pull, um, to my ac because it's it's magical damage so your ac is going to do jack uh, I don't know. you need <laughs> some sort of, you need some sort of fire resistance oh. to it I don't think I have anything. I don't okay. even have any spells. No worries. Uh, so that means you're going to take the damage in full of whatever I roll. Wonderful. 
instant death. Uh, I know, I was in need of a nap, you know. Spent too long being awake. Beepy times. And I'm, I'm ready for bed. Okay. Send me to bed, DM. Send me to the forever box. <laughs> Gotta tuck me in nice and warm. Mm -hmm. 18. Very cool. 18 yes. points of fire damage as these bolts strike you one after the other. Yowch. At which point, Ophi steps up next to you with Nyx. Um, Ophi, you've just seen him get blasted by three bolts that have come directly from this direction. And now you can see where exactly they've come from. That orb at the top is where these things fire out from. Uh, okay. So, this there. Right, okay. So, am I taking a step back? What do you want to do? I'm taking a step back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dealing with this on your own, Riker. It's okay, guys. I'm fine. Not that I'm not used to. <laughs> <laughs> You just heard back stomach rumble. Not on purpose, it's just a... He smells cooked meat and... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> His belly's grumbling. Um, right, Okay, so, it's some form of security system here by the look of it. So, yes, if you look around on the floor in front of you, you can see that there are many scorch marks um, <laughs> that would give it away that there is fire attacks that go off here. Um, you... Uh, you are able to attack the construct, uh, which is exactly what it counts as. If you are able to get close enough and so on, then you, you can still be within a certain range when you get attacked. But each one that you, can, that you encounter has a certain range that it can fire up to. Um, what we'll do is we won't consider this as combat because they're not considered a enemy they're just a trap so every type so we're using the same system where everyone gets a, uh, a turn they do what they want to do uh, but at the end of your all your turns these things are going to fire at you if they are if any of you are in range gotcha so it's a question of whether you want to head that way where they are or whether you fancy going a different way or whether you're going back up the stairs. Like I said, you've got a lot of decisions to make. So they only attack at the end of your turn? Um, they only... Well, to start off with, they'll attack whoever they see come into, um, into their range. Once once that's been triggered uh it then becomes a constant thing where they are then in play um until they're destroyed once they are destroyed then obviously they can't attack anymore they can't do damage but for everyone that is still in play um you need to do all of your turns and then they will get their turn so it's kind of like a it's an instant at the end of whatever you guys are doing so if you consider it as a turn whatever happens during your actions once you're done they will have their turn at the end of everything that you've done so if you can get out of range it, during your go then no one's going to get shot we have to mission impossible this there are a few ways you can get through this this corridor uh without being absolutely devastated by these traps um, but you guys are going to have to work out how. I have an idea. Like I said, they, they can be it's attacked. They, they are vulnerable to being attacked. They do have their own hit points. So... You say there was, a, there, there was like a thing on them. You can brute strength it if you want. Uh, yes, there's a little orb that's held at the top. Um, and that's where the balls of fire come out of. Does it look like you could easily remove it? No, because it's part of the statue itself. Okay. Or, or of the construct itself. Just, I was just thinking, just running up and just disassembling it and running away again. 
uh, yeah, I don't think that would happen <laughs> somehow. <laughs> you might no. take, you might be uh, taking a little while to dismantle a very put together trap, um, even with your thieves tools. Well, I got nothing we can do. Um, all I can do is walk across the room and see what's over in this corner. Do it. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> Anything of interest? Here they come. <laughs> Ooh. What, this, uh, what are you doing, okay. Riker? They're coming. Uh, can I take the dash action? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> wrong way. Wrong way. Don't come this way. It was a terrible idea. You know what? I fucking hate this place. Let's just let's just leave. <laughs> let's just give up. <laughs> Thanks to God. Hey, oh, and he and he go wait a minute. What was that way? Don't ask questions. Don't worry about it. Just leave and hope to God they don't follow. Right? Ophi, make, well, make a fun. perception check for hearing, please. Oops, sorry. Anyone who wants to know what's going on, make a perception check. No, uh, you cannot hear anything apart from the screams coming from Riker saying, Don't go that way. Uh, you just head back Fuck to this place. I'm done. I'm fed up. <coughs> uh, Baxter, think... uh, you on the other hand, um, you hear the sound of creaking bones as they are moving and assembling. Um, you can hear the gentle swish of cloth or torn uh, materials as they are moving or rubbing against these bones. Um, you can also hear that somewhere further into this area, you're not quite sure where, uh, but coming from what you can ascertain to be this sort of direction... Mm -hmm. Um, you can hear a very faint, uh, but very recognisable, uh, barking sound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. And because you're B, you can't communicate that to us. Correct. Woof. To just, I don't know what I can do here. I can't, I can't verbally communicate. Look out! It's right. <laughs> just go. Well, he's right. Well, it's still your turn. I'll wait, I'll wait until you've had your turn, and then they will advance even further. They are following you, Riker. At this point, they don't know about I... anyone else. I can't even communicate, Riker. What did you see? Because nope. Yeah. Nope. Ophi, um, uh, you can think about what you want to do as well. I've already given you the info of what we need to do. I've already said it. Run. You said I'm not running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that should be all the info you need. Yes. Clearly not a fact. Baxter looks at Ophi and like tries to discern rubbing his hands together to create warmth so that then we can get ready to fight. Uh, give me, uh, give me a uh, performance check. I hate the mechanic that I've set upon myself that was once a joke and is now hinging upon whether or not. Oh no, I was going to come up with this anyway. Don't worry. Oh, fair enough. I just beat you to it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No. Ophi, you take the actions of Baxter as if he's a hungry animal looking at you like you're his next meal. <laughs> No, no. Scratching my head, basically. And you are so... in very close proximity to him. So I'm going to take a little dash past him if the if mouse lets me move. Mm, you can't go further. You can go towards 
uh, he's square that he's on, so he's on that one. So yeah, I'm kind, of that. I'm kind of stuck in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try again. You no clipping. There you oh, go. Oh. Oh, no, if you're breaking the bounds of the reality. Well, it's thing about running into walls, though. <laughs> so you should be able to move now. Try it. You should be good. Yeah, I'm going to scare you and stand by Aurora. So, <laughs> feeling pretty scared. <laughs> Ophi dashes past you in between Riker and you, Baxter. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> that's very good timing. Um, and it's obvious that she's taken whatever you tried to do as some sort of threatening behavior. No, Baxter. Ophi is friend, not food. Stop. <laughs> I'm just have got treats. Should have got treats for Yeah. Mm, the multi food you left up with the bare bones. <laughs> the bare bones are coming back. So, what do you want to do? Um, Baxter's just gonna make his stead and stand his ground. He's not shifting. He heard something. Okay. Um, and you know. No, I like that. He That's good. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, they're tiny. Everything's tiny to you. You're a bear. <laughs> Very well. You've got one small. more round before they are on top of you. What do you want to do? <clears throat> How much HP are you on, Baxter? Me. You can't um, ask that. You can't ask that. Uh, does he look injured at all? Mm, hard to tell. He's actually quite um, well off. There's a few cuts and grazes here and there, but nothing much. I'll heal him 10 HP with lay on hands and just be like, good luck! As I go to walk off because, um... Fair enough. So you're I know, getting shot yeah. was not very fun. Yeah, that's fair enough. I have to admit. I'm just going <laughs> to you know, walk, walk on. Just let him have his fun. Oh yes, he's definitely going to have some fun with walk. his. Uh, let's go to monsters. Have a treat. Have you guys encountered any skeletons before? Yeah. Yes, yes. I've skeleton fingers that I took because I was like, "Wow, I hit something." Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, so these are just basically your your typical uh, bog standard skeleton warrior types. Um, they've they've fallen, they've rotted away, they've become um, members of the uh, the Hell Legions, um, and they just put them in random places just to be an annoyance generally. Uh, so, um, now you can see what is shambling after you. Are we doing anything about it, or are we just going to let them come to you? Hope he's, hope he's running away. <laughs> Literally. Baxter doesn't want to go anywhere. He knows that these things can go down like the devil can, so he's, he's fully prepared for the fight. Alright, let's crack on with the initiatives then. Uh, so, turn order is somewhere. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Fifteen. Uh, I would have got three. Uh, I hope she hasn't done it yet because she's away. Uh, right. Um... So we need uh, initiative for you, Riker, if you want to do the fighting, or uh, Ophi as well, if you want to join in. Is Aurora fighting? Uh, yes, she will what? do, um, but there's not much that she can do here. Uh, sadly, she knows, as uh, she's fought them in the past, that these guys are very, very resistant to piercing damage. Um, and her arrows don't seem to do a huge amount. 
much of anything. If anything, that's right. Uh, she also uses cold damage, which also has no real um, damage to them either. Hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, so her weapon is completely uh, useless against these, so there's not much point in her body roll. Why have I got two lots? Uh, let's get rid of that one then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Bax is just going to stare at these things working as claws. Whenever Rafi gets back, we'll get her to do the initiative. Uh, Riker's got his. Get rid of that one. Yep. From a previous page. And then once Ophi is done. You can lay into these guys. Break, break some bones. Uh, obviously these are classed as undead and not demons, so you have to have something which is against skeletons to do extra damage. So just bear that in mind. Which I believe is blunt weapons. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Um, I just need your initiative, Ophi, please. If you are joining in with the fight. Four. Okay. Uh, and Aurora is going to get... Not that she can do much, because her weapon is useless against skeletons. Uh, okay, that's fine. Very well then. So, turn counter. Baxter, you are up with a whopping 15. Everyone else is like mega slow. You're the only one, only one that had over 10. Uh, yeah, so he's he's fully ready for this. He heard them. He knew they were coming. He's just charging towards them. Uh, he's going to take this first one in okay. front of it. Yeah. Uh, good, and he's just good go to move backwards a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he's just going to, you know, good old fashioned right, left, right. Incredible. Uh, so uh, what do we have? A 12? That's going to hit. Yep. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Um, yep. So yeah. Left. Uh, 10 misses. Yep. Right. Again, 23. Uh, that's almost a powerful strike. Just one less. So you've got... Yeah, roll damage. Yep. Uh, that's Not an 11... Really. 22. 22 points of damage. Uh, he is breaking apart as he stands in front of you. Bits are falling off of him, bone chipping away. He's managing barely but very shakily to, to hold his body together. The animation magics uh, from the necromancy that he's causing needs to be held um, together is starting to fade. Um, mm -hmm. And this thing is, I mean, clearly being battered about here. Uh, so, off the back of that then, um, Aurora is just going to wait and skip her turn. There's nothing she can do. She's going to stand here just in case they break through. And she can try and run away from them. She's got a weapon that is completely useless against them. Uh, Riker, you're up. Watch. <laughs> Uh, 
I will do nothing. Actually, you know what? I'll take a potion on my turn. Yeah. Let's try and heal back some of that damage I took. What potion? Oh, right, healing um, potion. Yep, yep, minor. 44. Uh, 44. Nice. 13. Really good. Put me in good standing. Like 13, there we go. 13 out of 16. That's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, great. So you're taking dodge action. Fine. Yep. Uh, uh, just, just in case. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, so moving into position will be the skeleton here. Um, he's going to attack you, Baxter. Uh, yep. You can kind of see that coming, really. Um, that's a great roll. Oh yeah, that hits. Uh, that's five points of slashing damage. Yes, sir. Um, next one. He's the one that's next to him. He's also going to uh, use his sword to try and deal some damage. That's a 16. I believe that does just about meet your that's, armor. Yeah, that's my AC. Yeah, so that's going to be damage. Uh, we're looking at another five points, so ten points in total for this round. Oh. Uh, Ophi, you're up. What do you want to do? Where's... <coughs> Unmute for starters. <coughs> so, I'm going to start with Nyx first. Where are you going, Pax? Uh, I, I was going to say, he's just disappeared into the ether. Yeah. Can I undo? Hey! Uh, I think when I went to go change oh, my point health points, I accidentally hit something that got rid of him entirely. Okay. Uh, so you're down to 51. There you go. Yeah. Done that. Okay. Like his help sorted. Yep, okay. Uh, Ophi, what are you doing? So Nyx is going to go first with a 5 belt. Mm -hmm. On which one? Um, this one. Okay, the other one looks extremely weak, Ophi, like barely able to hang together. So you can tell her to go for that one if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. I'll, I'll let go. her start with that one. Right, go ahead. So, fireball. Uh, you need... Yeah, that's perfect. Roll damage. Four. Four. Okay. Uh, they are skeletal. Um, and generally, skeletal creatures are weak to fire. So, you actually do six points. Um, and this skeleton literally just explodes. Like, the bones fly everywhere. Okay, uh, which one was that one? That one was that one there, so that one's gone. Okay, and I've two remaining. This one. Yep. 22 to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. Roll damage. So you got 2d10. 14. So that's going to be 16 points of damage. Okay. Uh, what's that? A fire bowl, so you can do a spell if you want. <clears throat> um, keep trying with the idea of another warmth, but Black has just healed himself, and I think Black is all right at the moment. My man is getting quite low. Yep. That's so I'm going to leave it be for now. That's fair enough. Uh, what we are going to have to do, though, we're going to have to decide on a square to put you on. So I think it'd be that one there, because Riker's on there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right, okay, yep, that's fine. Um, what, what have you got? That's me, Dom. Great stuff. Uh, okay, so the remaining skeleton, the slowest one of the of everybody. Um, he's going to move into where his friends just perished. No, actually, he's going to go this side. He's going to go this side, and he's going to take a strike against Riker. Uh, sorry, uh, against Baxter. Uh, that's a hit as well. Wow. Uh, that's six slashing on you. So that takes me down to 45. Mm. Um, I've been taking out the turn order, by the way. Uh, that's right, you have. I think when Baxter went to the ether. 
Yeah. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where is your initiative roll? It was 15. Was it 15? Yeah, that's the one. Fantastic. There you go, you're back in. Uh, so you, you will be top of the round. Yep. Try and... There we go. Great. Okay. Uh, and this one is going to move a bit further around. Try and wheel around you a bit. Make it so it's a little bit more difficult. Less movement. Mm -hmm. Um... And it also gives him advantage. Yep. But it's your turn. So. Um, yeah, Bax is Bax is completely and utterly pissed now. Uh, they've all managed to hit him, and he doesn't like being poked. So he's gonna go for the one that he can see in front of him, um, and he's gonna bring his paw just straight down, trying to smack as much as he can. 17 uh yeah 17 is definitely going to hit so let's have some damage yep that's an eight uh that's the one that's in front so yep. yeah he's barely standing at this point yeah so he's he's gonna come in for the left hand strike uh, that's going to miss. Uh, one more with the right hand, then. Main hand. That's a complete fumble. Now this is this is interesting because as you are obviously a bear in a bear form, um, you technically don't suffer from fumbles because there's no way that you can. So you essentially gain um, uh, what they call it bound weaponry. Yeah. In your in your wear forms, so nothing comes of that eight uh, of the uh, the one. Uh, but it does end your turn, I believe, unless yeah. you want to move. So uh, Aurora is going to do nothing. She's literally got nothing she can do. Uh, Riker. Uh, if it's Blaze, on the other hand, she'd be loading the arrows into them. But Blaze is sadly no longer just with us. Just gonna take dodge action. Can you stand there? I'm just gonna let the bear have fun. He's doing great out there. I can tell he's having a great time. I just feel happy for him. He just, he just <laughs> <he's>... <laughs> overwhelming joy. <laughs> just like playing across that bear face <laughs> over in the distance. You got it back so well. <laughs> <laughs> Where you go? You're like yeah, a, a row of cheerleaders. <laughs> like a row of cheerleaders at the back over here. Kill him. You got him back. You got this. <laughs> 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 Very well. We'll get it after Defense this. Defense action it is then. Good for a Scooby snack. Uh, right, so uh, yes, the one that's just been clobbered um, and near death is going to attempt to stick back to them with the pointy end. Uh, that's a miss. Yeah. Uh, Ophi, you're up. I don't, right. don't know how any of you sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Pull this up. one, I'm uh, going to start to win next with the fly bolt. Yeah. 24 to hit. Jeez, Ophi. Roll damage. And this one's this on. Is this is on who? Next. 15. On the, on the fresh one. On this, uh, this one. This, yeah. Yeah, oh wow. Uh, so that's 17 points of damage. That's Nyx doing that. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, says Nyx. Yeah, that's fine. So, from you, what are you doing? Uh, know, the cat's just managed to zoom me out, so I'm trying to find me again. Here we go. I'm doing a five bolt on the same one. On the same one, okay. And 13 to hit. That's probably missed, hasn't it? Nope, that's hit. Roll damage. And that's an eight. Uh, that's an eight. Ah, okay. One second. Uh, Nix is still doing two d ten, so it's only five. So that should have uh, ten extra HP. 
uh, but it's now just lost those 10 extra HP because of your 8 yeah that's fine okay um, so flaming bones standing right behind Baxter um, as two fire bolts land in the back of it and explode uh, other than that it is still standing though uh, and now he's going to get his turn against you, Vax, uh, and he's going to have an advantage on this one. Yep. Not that I don't think he needs it. 21, bloody hell. And the damage is going to be 5 points. Is that the best they can do? Yep. 4 and 2, no. okay, 6. No. Best. You're getting cut up to bits, uh, but you are still in there. Um... We will move on to turn three. Uh, your back to your turn first. Yeah, so he's going to just look at the weaker one. He knows he's practically apart, so he's just going to uh, swipe with his left claw first at him. That's a hit. That's a hit. Uh, and then that's eight points of damage. Uh, yep. That one literally explodes. Brilliant. That one there. Uh, Baxter then spins himself around so he's facing the one that's just carved the shish kebab out of him. Yeah. Uh, and then he takes his two right hands. Um, so that's uh, nine. nine points. And another. Second strike is not needed. You cleave this one in half. Well, yeah, I just separate him. Yeah, he's literally. Two different things now. Yep. So you cleave straight through. Uh, his spinal column um, mm. and literally there's just the top and the bottom half of him that he's just now in two separate parts on, on this five foot space <laughs> um, and to end my turn Baxter is feeling the effects of being cleaved up as this massive gargantuan thing mm. so he's going to shrivel back to human Baxter okay if I can pull Human Baxter out. That one. Right, let's see if I can get rid of Bear Baxter without completely and utterly breaking the game. Yay, I did it. You did it, nice one. Just takes a bit of practice. Yeah. So, one, two, three, all gone. In a matter of seconds. Uh... Aurora comes out and is like clapping like a crazy cheerleader over here. She's going, look, I can't do anything against these, but man, Baxter, you are incredible. Baxter just looks at the three of them and goes, thanks for that, guys. Really, really shame that I can't speak to you properly, but you just let me have all of the fun. So, hats off, folks. That's um, all you wanted. It, yeah, you just see a big grin on his face. Bear. Well, the uh, the grin is going to be short-lived, sadly, Baxter. Oh, no. Uh, because... You, oh, wait. You look exactly where you are, and you can see that there's a scorch mark literally next to you where Riker had been standing. Um, you suddenly get the horrible realisation that you are now within range of that fire trap. And you've care carelessly moved back into range of it, uh, whereas before you dodged around it. Yeah. And so, um, you suffer 19 points of fire damage as three of these bolts just blast you from behind. Yep. Um, that doesn't fight anymore. <laughs> right, what's that, 19? So yeah, that... 19 points. Yeah. Uh, your warmth might be looking pretty good right now, I think. I was going to say, I have some, <laughs> yeah. no, I have some healing potions to dish out on myself. Yeah, you might want to get a bit further away before you start trying to chug potions, though. Oh, yeah, Baxter's going to <laughs> run back to the group. Um, <laughs> posty and all. I mean, you can do it on the way. It's fine. You've got them on your belt. You just quickly just unclip them and drink them. It's easy enough. Yeah. 
Uh, right, okay, so... A uh, little bit of a, a sneak attack with the uh, the trap going off there, but that's that's how it is, I'm afraid. Uh, but no. you have you have destroyed the, the three skellies. Um, and this way is now open to you. The winner is you. Uh, so what do you want to do? Um, Baxter's gonna heal up first before he does anything like this. He's gonna look at the rest of them and go, I'm going that way, you can all wait here if you want. Mm -hmm. Uh, just remind me, what is it for, um, health potions? Uh, 4d4. 4d4, that's mm -hmm. fine. So it's 10 back. Yeah. Which brings back straight a happy little medium. Great stuff. Right, well. Um, uh, there's a decisions to make, team. Uh, whether you head back up the stairs, whether you follow this passageway where the skeletons were further, or whether you try to brave the traps. Or you can go back to town. Baxter. I don't know where the skeletons come from, but if I say anything else, we are just leaving. <laughs> Not for, if I say leave, we leave. That's it. We're done. Head up. No more. What do you want to do? Max is going to make the point of saying he heard something. He wasn't too sure about it, but he's pretty sure he heard something and he wants to go investigate it because it was a very strange noise, especially to hear this deep in a monastery. So he's going to just take the initiative and just start walking. Yep. I'm just going to follow, but quickly trying to walk past the trap. Careful, my boy. It hurts. As you know. I know! Oh, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Let me just check. Uh, I think Brock has terrain. triggered it. I think you triggered it. Well, it's a sp speed thing. I didn't realize it was a distance thing. No, you're okay. You're okay. You're barely... You're barely out of its range. So you need to... You can see that the glow is starting to happen on the, on the stand. It's like getting ready to fire. But it hasn't done so, so you realise that you're okay at this point. Oh, as if we ended its ended our turn inside of its line of sight. Yeah, it will be. That's what I was waiting to see. Oh, I wasn't ending my turn there. I was trying to walk. Oh, I gotcha. Sorry, my bad. I was trying to cut across. That's what I was saying. Was I'm trying to get across as quickly as possible. Right. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta walk over dead bodies just to get away from fireballs. Exactly. Had to crunch some bones. <laughs> I would have been fine tripping over. I would have probably rolled forward out of the way. Yeah. Your hands would have counter shock you tripping. You would have been fine. <laughs> they would have pushed me back up. <laughs> Perfect roll. I like the idea of my hands are so shaky that I do everything perfectly accidentally. But apart from hit the enemy. Yeah, that's something I can do. But everything else, yeah. it's perfect. I look like a master. Um, Can't see full. Let's my... take one step further. <laughs> why is Brawl 20 wanting to take its time with loading? There we go. Yeah, it's a bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> oh. Okay, I still don't see it. Right, still nothing there. Um, she's hugging. Uh, Aurora's hugging the wall a bit more. <laughs> um, that gate. Else that gate is through? open. That gate is open. Yeah, roll well, twenty is just taking its time for me. So, I'm oh, back to twiddling its thumbs. You can see as Aurora looks, um, passes all these windows that she can see, and she's just like kind of looking around every single one of these rooms just to see if anyone's inside mm. um, but there's no one 
Uh, let's get rid of the tank counter. Don't want that. Oh! Bax is gonna win. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. What are you done? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's fine, Bax. yeah. The thing. No, you're right, you're okay. Um, Baxter signals back to the group to just be very quiet and cautious because you can see a figure in the distance, but he can't quite make out yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that thing that you can see um, is what was a, uh, a prisoner. Ah. So the demons don't care who they slaughter. Um, anyone that's here is fair game. Whether you are armed or not. I think I can see around the corner slightly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I didn't, I didn't expect to this that. One. Uh, no, a little bit over to the right of that room. I can see just at the corner. <laughs> but something I did not expect to see right there in view. <laughs> Vex has uh. also seen it. <laughs> it's slowly approaching. <laughs> um, That's can, the last thing I expected. I've got to have to zoom in a bit more. See if it's alright with us. Uh, you can hear, uh, well, now everyone can hear pretty much now without even needing to listen properly. Um, mm. You can hear uh, every now and then the soft whimpering of an animal um, with the odd bark here and there it's uh, it sounds like a small animal yeah Baxter obviously he, he came from a place with a lot of wildlife and this is the first natural thing that he's seen mm -hmm. uh, so he's just excitement overfills his body to be able to see something and he just runs straight towards it knowing the animal needs help. Okay. Run towards it. So yeah, Bax is gonna... Do I have to make any rolls to see what's up with him? Or... Um, it looks scared, but also slightly relieved to see someone. Um, I want you to make a... Animal friendship roll with advantage, please. Yep. Is that just regular animal handling, sorry? Yeah, sorry, did I call it something else? Yeah, you called it animal friendship. I just... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's the spell, isn't it? Um, no, it's the uh, yeah animal handling, please. Right, with advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there that's... we go. It was meant to be, wasn't it? <laughs> it was meant to be. So... It was... As soon as you get over there, you are kneeling down straight away, and it is a little bit scared uh, to approach at first, but the more that you spend time um, trying to convince the animal that it is okay and that you're sa and it's safe to go to you, it'll start edging towards you. Um, you notice that clasped around the rear, uh, one of the rear legs, um, is a ball and chain and it is clasped quite tightly. Um, it can get away from where it is being held ever so slightly, but it can't get away fully. Um, so what do you want to do? Um, is there just a simple way of me being able to get the dog out? Um, you can see that there's a, a lock on the side of his... Um, uh, um, it's, a, it's a shackle. It's a shackle. So there's oh, a, there's, okay. a, there's a lock on there. So or like at least a keyhole. So it could be picked if you've got something for it. Yeah, I was going to say we've got a set of thieves tools, and if it's just a simple lock pick, yeah, you can give it a go. Uh, yep. Yeah, what do I have to do for that one, Mister DM? Uh, so for that one, uh, you will use a charge of your um, your lock pick or your thieves yep. your thieves tools. Sorry, your thieves tools. Uh, so reduce that by one charge uh, and then you would add it basically gives you an extra proficiency bonus against the roll so whatever you roll you would add 
um, whatever you've got for the uh, your um, fees tools. But I don't think I, I don't think as your class you have anything, do you? No, I I, I have nothing. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, so really, they're not going to be that useful. The only thing that they're going to do is they're going to allow you the attempt at breaking the the lock. Okay. So just make a, a standard. Uh, it'll be. I guess a dex roll. Um, yeah. Let me just let me just double check. I think it is a dex roll for. A, and then you normally add on top of that your proficiency for your tools. Uh, yeah. Or you can try and bust it open. You can try and make a strength roll and bust it open. It's up to you. Oh, I'm going to do strength. I've got mad strength. Back to the 2.0 is... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. okay. Um, so just a bog standard strength roll, yeah? Yeah, just do a strength roll. Cool. Oh, I've left advantage on. That's so right. Was it? 12 is enough. You only needed a 10. So oh. you've managed to, using just brute strength... Uh, break open uh, partially the shackle that is around the dog's leg um, you pull it open and help his leg out um, and he instantly starts wagging his tail and jumps up at you um, Baxter just picks him up and just gives him so much fuss mm -hmm. Um, he turns around to the other two and he looks at them dead in the eye and go, I will not die for this dog. He's he's to be protected at all cost. Well, you know what? We got the goods. Everybody run. <laughs> the the interesting anything. thing, Baxter, as well, is as you pick him up, for a dog this size, he's, he's not adult quite yet. Uh, but you would expect him to weigh a little bit more than what he does. And it's not due to malnutrition, although you can see that he does need a good meal. Um, the, the weight of him feels off for something that is, or for a dog that is that size. Um, there is something about him that doesn't quite add up. Baxter's, Baxter's concern, but the happiness and the joy is kind of overtaking him. Um, he, for the time being, he just puts it down to, oh, he's a bit skinny, he's been trapped down here for a bit, but he mentally takes note that something's off. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's got no dog tags on him either, so he, he's got no name, no owner. Um, well, he used to, but not anymore. Um the owner is over here. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. So he had to watch that happen. Um, That's, just, yeah. Just an um, another sick thing that the demons like to do. They like to twist and break spirits of people and animals and anything that they can get their hands on. Can I just do one final perception check to make sure that all is okay with the dog? Like, make sure that there's nothing off magically or, you know, physically or anything like that. Just make sure that he is completely and utterly fine. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to do that, you can. Um... Uh, perception check? Because, unfortunately, I can't strength my way out of... No. No, dog over. Not when you're trying to work something out, no. Just hi, puppy. Are you okay? Bang. Uh, ten. That do. Uh, so you do notice um, that inset in the fur of this dog, uh, there seems to be a marking of some sort, um, and the marking is that of um, a fae-like creature. Mm -mm. Um, would it be one recognisable to? Oh yeah, yeah. You would have seen these these markings back well back in your uh, in your little village that you come from, um, as they are obviously nature in in <laughs> in nature. 
Uh, they are natural. Um, and you would easily recognize them to be something uh, uh, akin to what you were studying back when you were just learning to become a druid. So there's definitely something natural about this. It doesn't feel like it shouldn't be. Yeah. And I get you. So he's happy, go chappy, just He's generally, generally happy now that, I mean, I can't really argue with a, a nat 20 on an animal handling, so he's, <laughs> he's completely and utterly besotted by you. I mean, you just saved him, you've unshackled him. You're the first person that he's seen that's alive for quite some time. So, yeah, I mean, there's no reason. But I mean, you've even got, I'm sure you've probably got some in your character somewhere, you've got some rations. You could, if you're happy to give them up, um, yeah. you can give him some food. I'm more than happy to give him something to snack on. Yeah, okay. Uh, so just uh, mark off one of your rations on your character sheet. Yeah, can do. And uh, we'll say that it goes to the dog. But yeah, he's, he's, he's yours. Until you don't want him anymore. That will never happen. He's my baby. I now need to think of a name. You will do. And I expect one by the time we play next. I'm going to turn around and shout to the other two. Guys, I've got a dog! Right then. <laughs> one thing I do want you all to know before we go any further is that as you stand in a very, very quiet area, any sounds that you make or any sounds that are made elsewhere are generally amplified quite a bit. So, sorry, amplified quite a bit. Uh, so you can hear them from a little bit further away at any time. Uh, this area is very, very echoey. Uh, but you can also hear things that aren't quite usual that you would normally hear down here. Um, so you might hear the odd rattle of chains now and then, or the odd voice, or the activation of some sort of machine. Um, in this particular instance, you can hear the a gentle sound of what sounds to be wings, or a flapping of some sort, some sort of material, or something that you're not quite sure what it is. Uh, you can also hear very faint whispering sounds. Uh, they're very in. Uh, well, they're, you, they're not inaudible because that means you wouldn't hear them. But they are very hard to understand. It just sounds like when someone goes, and then you got the uh, the gentle flapping of what you would assume are wings. Um, I would assume I can see them from where I am. I can kind of uh, see what I would uh, assume to be making that noise. Uh, 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 let's see. Oh yeah. Uh yes, you can definitely definitely see staring them. right at it. Yeah, you practically <laughs> are staring at it. Um, it is not paying any attention to you as yet. I'm going to point them out, put up the number two on my hand, Okay. and yep. put my finger on my mouth for everyone to be quiet. Very, very clever. Um, I'm going to give you a point of inspiration for that. Yeah. You are signalling that there are something there, or is something there to the rest of the party without actually giving your position away, which is great. Um, so therefore, yeah, that's worth a point of inspiration. Um, as for the rest of you guys, um, it does seem that we've run out of time for this session. And I know it sucks because it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, but we need to draw this to a halt. Uh, so where do you want to go or what do you want to do at this moment? And please tell me you're not going to run towards these things because I'll just stop the session right now. <laughs> Because we haven't got time to no, do that. Go back once we can. And go pick up Scarlet and Zrin, hopefully. Can we come into this cell and just use the beds and rest for a bit? In here? Is, is that an option? Uh, 
Yeah, it is an option. I will say sketchily. <laughs> is there anyone in the door that um, those guys are in front of can shut without creating too much of a noise? Or is it just... I don't think there's much of a point in doing that. I feel like they could probably just move between the bars anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say back to the concert, these, so. these things have gone through solid walls. Bars are nothing oh, okay. to them. I just signal to go back from where we came from. Oh, I, I think someone's going to attack us. I've just noticed these. That's what I was pointing out. That's we don't know. That's what we're Riker not going to fuck around and find out. <laughs> that's what Riker was pointing out to everybody. Uh, so yeah, if we just go back. That's what I say. Yeah, I've um, got a town portal. Oh, we could open a town portal and go back there to rest. Gives us yeah. chance to um, preferably not in our manor room. and stuff as well. I was going to say it just means that we have to um, pick up the other two. So I say we go grab them and then town portal. Exactly, I agree. I'll leave the other two behind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got we've probably got enough time to do that. And then we can all get a proper rest in then, can't we? That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and then I'll get my promotion and stuff. Alright then. It's delicious. Can't wait. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to Baxter and say, grab the dog, come on. Yeah, Baxter. Yeah. Gonna be a dog or just do his best to keep it quiet and just walk back with him. Yep. yep. Now, you can you can put the dog into your inventory, so you can put him away as such. Uh, uh, but you um where is he? Copy him there. Uh, so you can actually put him away uh, if you don't want him out. Um. And yeah, he, he he works like any other. Uh, inventory item basically so he will be <laughs> like defragmented and go into your armlet and then once you want it back out you think of it and it out will come it and materialize in your hand well this one obviously it's a, a separate entity so he will come uh, he will be in the square that's next to you um, Got it. whilst he's in your inventory he is going to take up inventory space yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, I think I'll put him in my inventory for now, and then I'll deal with him at the encampment, because he's he's just a little thing, and I don't really want him. Yep, okay. Uh, so for now, he's uh, only going to take up, uh, what was it, four spaces in your inventory. Yep, that's fine. Dog. <laughs> dog. Yeah, dog. I can't think of a name for him just yet. I'm too... Uh, just call him dog. <laughs> Needs to be really, really normal. Um, Needs to be the most mundane thing in the world. He oh, he's just dog worse. Like, bear in mind he's only met or had the chance to bond with you. Um, everyone else he's not sure about. So, yeah, that's fine. So... You'll have to bear that in mind. Um, yeah. When he, wherever you're placing him, or wherever you want him to come out, if he's too close to something else that he doesn't quite like or feel safe around, uh, mm. then you might be looking at. Well, you could be looking at a number of things, um, from just running off to just refusing to come out. You know, it just it it varies based on. It depends, yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. I yeah, I'll just I'll have him in my inventory for now, and then I'll. Uh, but he does take count. He does count as a as a fake creature. Got you. Right, let's get back to the other two, and then get to gone home because the session is nearly done. Yeah. No worries. Uh, what I'll do is then, as you've picked him up, I'm gonna put him away. So yep. I, I don't have to keep control him, and then. Over the dead bodies. Thank you very much. We'll be in bridges. Lovely. And we are out. Into the barracks. Yeah. Mm, if I 
There we are, there's everybody. Uh, so, are we just heading back to grab Scarlet and Zarin? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, pop yourself back where Scarlet and Zarin is. So, you will need to head down here um, and into this room. I'll move. Yeah. Oh, have you moved me, dear? Yep. Oh, that's fine. I was going to say. Uh, there's no point in yeah. walking it. I mean,. We're practically done. We're just we're just tying up loose ends. Um, uh, oh, and Nick, sorry, Nick's as well. Yep. Okay. So as you enter the room, uh, you can see Scarlet is holding her head. Um, there's been some side effects that she's been suffering, um, and it's mainly because of what's going on in the world and how she's now back inside the monastery. She's seeing people that she's known for quite some time um, just mutilated laying on the floor and obviously it's going to upset you so she's been fighting it off pretty well uh, got to give her her graces for that but her mind has kind of snapped a little um, and Zarin has obviously in his weakened state decided that he's going to stay with her at this point and try to help her through whatever it is that she's going through which is kind of nice of him so that's where we're at at the moment uh, if you guys want to go back to the uh, town, now's the time to do it. Yep. Ophi? Ophi's going to crack open the town portal. Wonderful. Um, oh, you don't have access to it. Sorry. Uh, to town. I got you. There we go. Happy days. All right. Portal is up. One by one, you all funnel through. Um we are going to i would say leave the session here uh you can tell me what you want to do in the time that you're in the town uh if you want to do some downtime we can um, i want to get my mana back <laughs> but you can let, only one. let me know what changes you want to make and what you want to do uh we don't need to ring yet yeah don't need Scarlet yet. Um, Aurora's just gonna hang with you guys for now. Uh, the time-wise, uh, time-wise, what time are we? What time do we start? It was 8 p.m. when you guys picked up this session, so it's probably about nine now. So, any chance of? Uh, trading is not a chance until the following morning because everyone's basically turned in for the night um, as for uh, anything else you can you can do like you can focus on your downtime um, activities if you want to do that uh, all you got to do is just let me know during the week what you want to do uh, if you want to continue and we'll do that through uh, discord Mm -hmm. Alright guys Well Fantastic Right well I'll do the uh, The outro so if there's anything you want to say Say it now um, Otherwise We'll call the session to an end Uh, right, okay, so if uh, no one else wants to say anything, um, what I will do is I will call the session to a close. What time are we on? Yeah, that's wonderful. Good time. Um, thank you very, very much, guys, for turning up today and having an incredible time with you, as per usual. I um, really enjoyed this session. I didn't know which way it's going to go at, at many points, and you've thrown me through some hoops as well as I think I have thrown you through some so it's mutual uh, but yes we are going to be playing next weekend um, so hopefully you will all be able to join and we can get Scarlet and Zrin back and then from there it will be two weeks after that and then the following two weeks and two weeks and two weeks and two weeks as that's going to be our new um, uh, play routine uh, for each session so, 
Um, without further ado, I need to say goodbye. Uh, sorry, uh, say thank you to everybody who is going to be watching on YouTube. I'll try to get this um, uploaded within the next day, if possible. I should be able to do it tomorrow, to be totally honest with you. Um, if not, it won't be much longer after that. Uh, I'm also going to be... Uh, got a little surprise for everybody uh, with the next video that I upload because I'm going to be putting something at the start of each of the videos. Um, carefully uh, made and donated by Ophi. Um, I also think that the body, Ophi's bodyguards for the, the group name is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm glad that you guys all picked uh, a great name for you to all fly under the same banner with. Uh, it does mean a lot when in bonding and, and making sure that everybody is part of the same team so there is that um i haven't got anything else to say other than thanks to everybody for turning up um, and we will see you all next weekend on sunday goodbye for now